Hello. <laughs> Hi. So, a uh, massive cut. Just at one point in here. Um, huge ass cut. Sole reason, we got sidetracked. And we got super sidetracked. And so, it just kind of, about the yeah, one hour mark, just before then, you get a huge cut. Simply put, um, big ass sidetrack. We just started talking about something completely irrelevant, started joking, got really funny. <laughs> Happens. Um, usually I keep them in, but this one went quite long. Um, so yeah, do apologise. Anyway, let's get back to it. Good kid. So before shit hitteth the fan, let us begin. Let us, that thing that Ruby has never touched on her life. There we go. See, I can Grass. make these jokes. No, no, that's something that all of us are yet to touch. Collectively, we play D&D, &D, we don't touch grass. Grass is a no-no for us. <laughs> I remember seeing grass once. It's like red le Legos, it's yeah. locked. Yeah, I saw it on a picture once, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> so, what happened when last we were here? Well, when last we were here, you were in the Citadel, and there was a monk, not a monk, a druid. And the druid was like, oh, the natural balance of things, you know. Like, we need to keep things going. You know what I'm all about. And, you know, he tried to get the reassurance of Bree. Um, turns out Bree doesn't like being touched. And so, you know, Bree started a fight. This is why we can't have nice things. Um, the party was like, okay, we're done. That's good. Uh, they went back to, to town and realised, hey, we may have made a small mistake. Uh, turns out, I'd made a bit of a mistake. But they gave over a man for questioning. Sadly, that man died during the night. Speaking of things that happened during the night, Haku made stew. It was a good stew. People enjoyed it. Renfrey kind of looked over in the distance like, hmm, there's something wrong with those trees. And Mogax got his shit rocked. It was a great night for everybody. Mogax or Blair? Like, did he, did he get the shit rocked by Blair or like something else? A woman. A woman. Damn, that's oh, a first. We also, adopt, we also adopted an arson, right? Oh yeah, he's also adopted an arsonist. I didn't want him. You guys took him. <laughs> to be fair, the arsonist has not set fire yet. Uh, fair. To, be, to be fair, you, fair. Di you didn't actually technically adopt him. Just He, he, started, he started following you and you just didn't say anything. And now it's been a week and it's just like, yeah, he's one of us now. <laughs> I think that says had, more about you guys than it does he a, He overfed a goblin to death, we're not going to question him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so my friend, now we're having soft the tacos, tacos later. Hey, 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 friends a bit So many soft tacos. <laughs> he's just going to gonna go to Haku during dinner and be like, yeah, you eat that if we keep eating. I want to see how much you <laughs> You eat that now, you... Dirty paladin. <laughs> <laughs> and so, note to paladin. self: if 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 if, if I, what's your character's name again? Leslie. If Leslie ever offers Mount Mogex food, I'm never accepting. <laughs> <laughs> but as you uh, had that little issue, found out the person was dead. A woman was caught, uh, kind of doing some things and looking around. Oh, I really should have. I really should have read my notes. This is fucking fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! And he said, you know, said, "Hey, Mogax, you, you know, your friend left you a little something." And Mogax went into his pocket and found a found a card and found a little slip with some information. Realized there was some Netherese shit. They looked around to find out about this Netherese stuff, and they were told that it was a keep, or particularly this keep. After some investigation, part realised, hey, you know, it's probably best we just go home anyway. You know, it's been a time. And when they went home, the following things happened. So, Blair and Mogax, they got to know each other very well. No. Biblically? <laughs> Bree decided to try, try her hands at some form of woodwork and weave some baskets. Leslie was like, you know, I, I've got a shotgun, come on, come on Sammy, let's go find old Yeller. Renfrey decided to go to the chapel and um, 
I don't know, pray for forgiveness? <laughs> something like that, and for help or some of some sort. Aku! Like, what to do next? Aku, however, he... Now I remember why I brought the laptop upstairs. Where's my laptop? <laughs> there it is! Oh, Accidentally, no, Aku ate it. Accidentally <laughs> ate fat bread. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so that's where you got the meat for the stew. <laughs> I was wondering why it was all flavor and no meat. Nah. It's, it's our mascot now, Fat Rat. You, you just said he's dead. We are the plague bearers. We are the uh, just, just, just breathe. I've, I've, actu I've actually written it down that you are not the plague bearers. But the, the plague bearers use our quote unquote. The blighters. Plague bearers is Blair. so much better. I think plague bearers is a great group name. Ha ha ha! Like, you think I'm dumb? Think they don't hear no. that? I think it, I think I think it's a great name. I think poor blighters should... would be better. Poor blighter. I think you should be put in the wall of the faceless. <laughs> I think you need to be put in the wall of the titans. What? An attack on titan. What? What? Are they? For Attack on Titan, I guess. Uh, okay. I get it, because there's Titans in the Titan wall. Yeah. You get uh, to... I'm with you. I'm with you. Because you're fat. <laughs> hey, I helped you! How not, you. you. not you! <laughs> not you. Not you. He did say that after he backed you up, man. Yeah, but... That's kind of mean. <laughs> and to think I thought we were friends. So I'm gonna go get a drink because. Oh wait, no, there's water here. Never mind. That didn't go anywhere. <laughs> Party. Damn, you should get a Pepsi. Uh, Wink. I only have coal. Wink. Oh fuck! Damn, can I do a line? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do it off a? Do you want to do it off a clown's dick? I heard it smells funny. <laughs> <laughs> That was terrible. He's all laughed. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> no, I've only done coke one time. Um. So, so I have a question. Since what happened last session? Yeah. Have you ever stored an Altoid? Oh, sorry. Go. Who the fuck is Old Yeller? <laughs> Never what heard the phrase old, 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 old. It's a dog. It's a golden retriever. They get took out the back of the shed and put down with a double barrel shotgun. What? Oh, how the fuck do you not know that? How do you not know that saying? Put down the cool yeller. Like, I'm 24? That I'm, doesn't, I'm, I'm 19 I'm, and I know I'm, it. I'm 23 and I've known that phrase since like, I was 10. Not I've even. never Why? seen that shorter since I'm 10. You know, you know old yeller? You take some no. round bag and you shoot it in the fucking head and Sorry. you kill it. You kill it. it you kill your beloved it's... animal because that's what makes you a fucking man in America. <laughs> and people really say I'm a psychopath. <laughs> you, did, you did feed a goblin to death to be fair. You like. did feed a goblin <laughs> to death. I mean, he was <laughs> gobbling on that food. You know? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> he was gobbling these nuts. Fuck a lot of yeah. You ever just had that really American urge to take your dog out to like behind the house and shoot him? No, <laughs> no, oh. bad. No. Bad. I don't know old who has those kind of thoughts. Almost dude, it's a, dude, it's a old yellow reference, bro. So wait, chill, chill. how about I take you out back and make an old yellow reference? So as you saw, all enjoying your time. It took my moment to get there, I had to get a little thing. Night comes round. On your first night of training here. Your first night of downtime. And as it does, deep in one of the small little houses, just out there, the little... I want to say hotel rooms. In the hotel room, Aku decides it's a good time to invoke the ancients. Uh, maybe a family bloodline curse or something else, but he has been preparing for some time. And then his preparations. 
he starts to chant some words, say some things. And as he does, things start to get a little more weird. Almost ill omen. It gets darker and darker. As things are getting darker and darker out here. The lights go on and the lights go off. As the blood the rune, as the moon rises. It then takes a sudden shift. And Saku, you drop a fucking pentagram. <laughs> <laughs> Don't a pentagram, people. Do you have to enjoy your? Can I say your thing, your time, your little thing? You see these shadows pass by your window. And as you do, you hear a <laughs> on your door. I managed to pause the game, smacking my desk. <laughs> Gestapo! <laughs> Come in! You watch as immediately a puff of smoke just in the room. You see a. You see a this. Smash. God oh, yes, a this. damn it! <laughs> <laughs> that looks awesome. That's, a, that's the new Assassin's Creed character, right? The ones that's so controversial. Oh, that's cool. I will let you know right huh? now. I'll let you know right now. I made this before that game was announced. Actual, actual like. I see a hand. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go offline. Yeah. Thunderstorms here. Yeah. Sorry. No worries. Stay safe. Bye. Bye for now. See you next week. Care. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Have a good time. Damn, who pissed off Opal? I heard God, apparently. As the banging in your room doors, the puff of smoke, you see this creature, this humanoid dressed in armor or leather and bits of riveted metal with a sword in hand and the mask of a bird. It stands looking at yourself, Haku. Why have you summoned Hold on. Ewok Pullen. It is time for me to take up the ancestral role and take you on. Z. Creatures himself. Just gonna breathe for a moment. And in taking on this role, you are aware of what is asked of you. Continue the traditions, yes. You protect me, aid me, and I'll make sure my children will follow in the future. There may come a time when you are required 
to do something for me. I know not what, nor when, nor how. However, failure to do such task or make any valued attempt to tackle such task will result in your forfeit. Of this you are aware? Yes, I accept. Then... Go forth with my gifts. And the gifts of my patron. He does he. This is a hand just on your chest. You can feel this additional beat to your heart, almost like a, like a jump beat, if you know what I mean. You can feel this strange dark power running through you. Wait. Give me your symbol so I may add ink to my body. Looks you up and down. Sick. I know what I'm looking for here. Let's see here, here. What is this? Let's see. You watch as he. Pulls a needle from your from itself, and as he does, starts to engrave the head of a raven into your chest. Take this and take some time. When you are ready, you will know what to do with it. Haku will not. He watches. And the creature immediately just vanishes. And as he does, if you'll Tattoo seem to burn a little. Roll me a d6, re rolling sixes. That's R1. one d6, RR6. Nope. Or is Gucci? He makes his grand exit. The door just and you feel a bit faint. However, the rest of your night goes as planned, and you awake in the morning with this raven's brand on your chest it seems to wrap round your entire body on your upper half it looks like a great brand new addition to something that you already have and you're still in D&D &D Beyond right? yep sweet you know how to add items right? I think so. 
in the ND Beyond, not in Foundry. In D and D Beyond, yeah. I was gonna add it okay. to you in Foundry, and I'm like, hold on, that's just gonna be a bad idea when we update your character sheet. Page 135, 33. Sweet. Oh, I need to add Fat Rat in Foundry as well. Right. Here's what I'm gonna do. Add to your character sheet Shadowfell brand tattoo and a tune to it. For your own benefit, it will give you dark vision with 60 feet and advantage on dexterity checks, stealth specifically. Wow, okay. So that way you can roll flat rolls in decent armor. <laughs> and it can be salty now. The level up. For everybody else. Bit easier on the laptop that was, I'll not lie. Hey, night has been going through. What are we? all doing bright and early at let's say 11 a.m because i feel like most of you probably wouldn't get up till 11 a.m well, i feel like brie would awake with sunrise in a stable with no windows there's a door also <laughs> assuming a a uh a stable is entirely light closed, you're wrong. Like, the stable is not gonna be closed off. Also, there's shadows in the stable. That's just out of the fucking map. Those shadows are for the building across the way. That's just the mapping software. Because they haven't that's added funny. roofs yet. Uh, that's funny. Uh, yeah, once you've updated the character in D&D &D Beyond, uh, because I don't know what changes you need to make as a result of the Shadowfell brand tattoo, but after that, um, just re-import. I'll, I'll move Fat Rat to the party loot. <laughs> Quick, <laughs> someone eat Fat Rat. <laughs> oh, you needed that? <laughs> but yeah. Bri. Bri. You awake. Earlier than everybody else. What do you do? What's going on? Um, I think I'm gonna go back to my ba basket weaving teacher. I feel like that would be logical. I thought I was just something to do, but yeah. As you, just gonna learn how to do more baskets. Yep. Yep. Then as you are. Making... How much? How much would... How much would I have produced in this week? Uh, so you are just learning um, in regards to this. So it's like, you know, mm -hmm. one, but you are getting good with the necessary tools, shall we say. Gotcha. Because I don't know if you have any yeah, herbalism and pan flute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that works, right? <laughs> See, I don't like you would technically, I want to say, be working with either car close to carpenters or even leather worker or woodsmith, woodsmith, something close to those. That would be what you are technically learning upon. So, as you go true. back to all your stitchings and weavings, but that, that. We will run over to Blair, uh, is in this little, I want to say hell hole, you're in your own little place, doing your own little things, you awake out of the room and start stepping over all of the other drunken patrons who find the floor far more comfortable than a bed. Turns around and says he's not here. What's up with it? 
Ask him what you're doing with your day. Yes, he is going to be training. This with is Mulgax. after that week of training. Oh, after the week of training? Yeah, the only downtime activity I had to do was Haku and Renfrey, and Renfrey's fucked off. Bad, I was a little bit, you know, <laughs> confused about that one. Um, well, with uh, very little money, um, not much. Not the mile, bro, boy. Supplies. He would go to. Uh, uh, let me see here. I have. I uh, you'd, you'd go to. Back up. In the tavern, get some breakfast. Then get some breakfast, lunch, whatever time it is. It's 11 a.m., so like a brunch. Wakes up late after a, a hard week of training. You know what? He's gonna do some gambling. He has a he has a pension. He has a he's a degenerate that loves gambling. You know, good thing I added Xanathar's guide to everything in here as well. I'll mm -hmm. also give everybody observership of Xanathar's guide to everything. Downtime revisited. Oh, it's a downtime thing? Oh, sorry. Yep. That's alright, it can still work. That's the beauty of it. Resolving it. Or no, example downtime activities. There we go. Oh, wow. This is actually so much easier to read than anything else. It's great. So, uh. Well, is your downtime? Yeah. We, we haven't really had a region. To think downtime is over, you know? Yeah, that's on me. That like, is... nothing has, has triggered, like, hey, we need to get back to action because, you know. I don't know, I'm, I'm giving that, like, you know, this is your, this has oh. been a week since. Just see what everybody's doing at that yeah. point, so I know where everybody is before we. Yeah. As you are doing your basket weavings, Haku has gone ahead and done his thing. Blair is gambling. Oh boy, oh boy. Let's go with Enjoy Wesley. Yeah. Enjoying his uh, his favorite hobby, you know. It's not an addiction, it's a hobby. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah, so, there? um. Go for it. Sorry. You go. No, go you for it. Go. No, okay. There, there are days where I wake up and I'm just so excited that I'm shaking to go, uh, to go gambling, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hate that I get that. <laughs> um, so I'm I'm just gonna try and barter with whoever's running the the tavern to uh, trade me a meal and a drink for a pet of my uh, my pet Drake. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound like an innuendo at all, right? <laughs> Come and pet my Drake, baby. <laughs> My I'll let her ride enough. the dragon if she's lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, I, you, I, I've been a bad. <laughs> <laughs> Fill me up and I'll let you touch my dragon if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, no, that sounds fine, honestly. I don't see the issue. Oh. I would say within this time for yourself, Wesley, you have been a, uh, you know, You've been to, you were hunting, you've been supplying this place with a little bit of food, you know, supply and demand and all that, so your meals are 9 times out of 10 heavily discounted as a result because you're such an, such an upstanding guy. You're such a nice person. I know, right? It's the barman, the young black haired, scruffy Joey, the barman, you know, looks at you. Uh, is there anything in particular she was looking for? We got soup or sandwiches. And, you know, a soup and a sandwich. We have uh, potato soup or a nice. Uh, Stroganoff, that's really soupy. Really enjoying this lisp right now. <laughs> Feeling it. Do it at work. Can I get some potato soup? And a sandwich. What a fat bastard. <laughs> As you are given a 
Beautiful. Beautiful. Bowl of soup. A bit larger than most than a nice sandwich. He's gonna sandwich. looks at you and looks over towards Blair. He's trouble. I give the sandwich to Sammy while staring at the bartender. <laughs> Gone. Do it again. I like Scottish in a good start of the <laughs> evening, honestly. Go, go, go! Let me just save that, <laughs> save that memory as a core memory. <laughs> what? We should put that in the new shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you have a lot of experience, Scottish. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to I know, think, Wither Boy? I think he already knows. She... ...doesn't know anything she's not supposed to know. <laughs> Yet. She's a nerd. What? She uses a VR headset, we know straight that like, she's gonna be like, Oh, the, all the data's guys, you know, Apple VR Pro headset <laughs> shit. No. I despise those people. Ah, so you hate yourself. Yeah. Bulldax. <laughs> yes. What have you been doing out of curiosity? Drugs. I think... I think after, um, getting his ass beat and also screwing up that mission partially with the group, I think for once he's gonna take it, take it aback and, like, you know what, he's, he, he's gonna be praying to Bahamut for guidance for once in his life. He should try training hitting. God damn it. Do you know what I think I've just realized? <laughs> what? what? Yep, I haven't done it. Uh, server's so gonna do a quick refresh. I didn't have the pop out thing, so if we were rolling with advantage or disadvantage, we'd be absolutely fucked. Hmm. But, as you are just praying here in a tavern, are you? Uh, I was thinking he was in his room. So. Then I will pop you into boop, a room. Now, what type of prayer are you? Are you like a hands and knees type prayer or just a knees prayer? Uh. I'd say he, uh, he does worship on his knees. <laughs> <laughs> so glad everybody knew where I was going with that. <laughs> it's all right. One of these days, you won't be the butt of the joke. No, I won't. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck here. I know that. I'm gonna be that. taking a lot of things up to bed, honestly. That one was a stretch, and you know it. <laughs> I'm gonna stretch his butt. Fuck's sake. <laughs> You can do that to his butt too. Ah, uh, someone end me. <laughs> what do you mean end you? End me? Listen, I'll finish both of you. I think that's the plan. Right. Ah, <laughs> uh, but. <laughs> We are mature adults. Uh, we, we, we. <laughs> Speak for yourself, honestly. <laughs> you leave Jesus out of this. Uh, Do we have to be mature adults. I don't want to be a mature adult. <laughs> I, I pay to be here. I don't have to. I don't have to be mature. <laughs> don't pay it. <laughs> yes. Let's see if I do yeah. But as you are on, as you are praying to your god, there you go, Haka. Problem solved. You do still distinctly remember that night out in the woods, alone, but not alone. A spry woman giving you. Weird offerings in a way to have you show yourself as a bigger man. Yeah. 
you turn her down a few of these times and <laughs> even <laughs> agree to her own plans. That's a huge ass moth, I've just realised. <laughs> you feel a bit of a blessing. <laughs> Did you win? Did you hit? Yep. He is <laughs> a like warrior. A <laughs> fucking hero. You did back, couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you, you rolled a 19. <laughs> yeah, it's not all over the window, so it wasn't a nat 20. Thank fuck. Yeah, that's what I mean. No, a nat 20 would have mean that it would have, like, gone perfectly. Like, if a nat 1 would have been all over the window. And that one had to hit the fucking camera. <laughs> True, yeah. I'm Caesar, brother, you are weaving, you are doing that, you're doing that, you're doing that, you're doing this. Cool. Question. Hello. Where the fuck are we? The keep. So glad you asked. He's never been to the keep. <laughs> you are. <laughs> oh. Big ass map. <laughs> Alright, oh. So, okay. Yous are. Actually, the keep has moved a little bit. Yous are here. In this keep place. What now? Everybody had access to be able to move the keep and move, like, these location markers. It turns out to be pretty didn't... bad. Did you say we didn't keep it in place? I will hurt out. you. We have a moving keep. Huh? God, this keeps are getting better. Well, like, like the tiny hut spell. <laughs> Just to keep. A bit more than a tiny hut. <laughs> Alright, then a big hut. <laughs> a mansion. <laughs> when did we get this? Leomon's big You should have just been here the entire time. As you are all doing your own little thing, Tip, I'm going to ask for wisdom, deception, and intimidation. Okay, what now? Three rolls to gamble: wisdom, intimidation, and deception. You said a wisdom, a wisdom check. E right. Yeah, in, uh, insight, deception, intimidation. Those are the ones I'm looking for. All right, insight coming at you, deception coming at you, and and then intimidation. Good ten again, ten, please. <laughs> oh. So let's see if I could grab this. What was your bed uh, curiosity? What did you put down? Uh, I was gonna put down half my gold. The six gold. So, yep, the six gold. I'll put that. Let's see I'll, here. I'll so, uh, based on the quality of the competition, gambling rest, da 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 da. Cool. So, so you got a thirteen, a ten, and a nine. So. Thirteen. Then a nine. Then a quick set of three DCs coming up. So um, wait. Do I get to add my playing card set proficiency to any of these? Hmm. I'll let you reroll one of them. I would say add your proficiency bonus to the roll. I'll reroll the the uh, deception. Yeah, you. Uh, if that's how this is working, right? I reroll one of these three. Yeah, I'll let you reroll one of those three. All right, bet. That's a sixteen for deception. Cool. Um, uh. Oh. So. Oh, wait. Oh, not this one. So. You lose half your gold that you put in bed. It was a 23, a 16, and a 12. That's how the, that's how the cookie crumbles. You passed, well, it wasn't 16, sorry. It was a... Four, five, six, seven, eight, and it was like it was a nine. So he was half, but as he's are enjoying your 
little town. Use doing your thing. Aku, you get a bit of a another on your door. You whore. Hi, hello. Oh, uh, commander? Or is it mayor? This one is the commander. <laughs> it took time to do his talking and everything. You're gonna use a little nod and a look. We've heard of the issues. And we know what's happened to the uh, yes. town. We know why the light still spreads, but there are other worrying reports as well. Why don't you grab everybody and meet me in my office? You're going to point to the building up here. Okay. Yes, sir. I'll see you there. Where are the people? Let me see. I'll go get Bree. Go see the horses. Nay. Hey Bree. Good, not good morning. Horses. I see you. Right here. By the horses. Nah. -uh. <laughs> well, we have a meeting with the commander. Time to do. Time to report and figure out a way to stop the blight. Okay. Come on. Can I finish my basket first? You can do that later. I'll grab. Try to grab Bree, then stop myself, remembering what happened to the druid. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Come on, Bree. You can do that Please later. Very much I'll help you. <laughs> Fine. And Bree follows along. Would you know where the others are? No. Morgax, Blair, Brenfrey. I, I, I left early to go to my basket. Practice again. Hmm. Okay, well. I will see this for the tavern. your extreme speed of things on it. You do watch as Renfrey. Uh... You know, it's just making our way down through this little bit. Looks at the, you know, board and all the rest of it. I've already put her in the rim. Pick up in the door on Mulgax. Hey, Mulgax! Mulgax is down on his knees practicing his best Sunday nun. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, commander. The commander is asking for a meeting. Oh, Let's go. The commander. What? What? We're the one who like fucked things up enough the first time, and I'll you'd be like, I'll have like a beer. Fine. Man, such meta gaming as he's all the way over there in the tavern, <laughs> hearing all of this in Mulgax's bedroom. Oh, oh my god! I'm sorry. I thought it was. I thought it was this guy. Sorry, my bad. I thought it was him. He's already forgotten who is this. No, I know who Morgax I know. is, I just... yeah. I thought Morgax is right here. Either. I Leslie see Morgax so never moved me. <laughs> oh, Morgax is yeah. still next to us. Desync. I apologize. Oh. oh. I'll see you in five minutes. Everyone always forgets. No, right. Right. no I, can, I can go now. Because he's like getting okay. out. While... While, uh... Actually, while... Uh, uh, Haku is getting... Uh, the others. Uh, Bree's gonna get Leslie. Because she wants to bet the drag. Wait a minute, real quick, when you said blessing, did, did you mean like, I actually got like a bless on me, or like, just flavor? Just just, just flavor. Just making sure. There was no priest to give you a real blessing. That's fair. Also, you're a bit old for that. <laughs> <laughs> I can make no, these jokes, I'm Catholic. Damn. 
That's why I have that experience making that noise. <laughs> I have to lick my nuts. Blasphemy. <laughs> there, Leslie, good morning. Time good to morning. meet the commander in your part. Uh, yes. Remind me, have I met the commander? You. We have. Oh, uh, yeah, if you want we to have, that. Right? He joined in the middle uh, of uh, the other one, but don't worry. I'm happy to see he's met the commander, if you saw. Yeah, well, we came back. We quickly like said hello, introduced everybody, told told Leslie what uh what's up and what we're doing here. Because I'm oh, not yes. a good bad person. Oh, I'll see you at the commander's office. I shall see you there. Where is the oh, yeah. people you're playing with have a, a bit of a laugh at taking your money as you are leaving out? These are walking around. You are getting weird looks off people. You know, yeah. fucking players. You know, he, he gives them a, a nod that people laughing at him and says, you know, that's a that's how the the cards fold. And you know, he's he's a very good sport about it. You know, it's a, it's he gets as much pleasure of winning as he does losing. He said no gambling person ever. <laughs> he said no addict ever. Roll, roll deception to yourself. He's not a, he's not addicted to winning he's money. Advantage. He's addicted to playing. So he's just a da addicted to gambling. Got it. He's addicted to playing games. All right, but he always stands on business. Cap. Yeah, but I don't like know. the way that you get addicted is by wanting to win and winning more and more and more. Exactly. That is how you get that's, addicted. That's how he's not addicted. He doesn't win. He's not trying to, <laughs> he's, 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 he's not trying to win. He's trying to have a he, good that's why that's why Molgax and Blair are a perfect couple. One can't hit, the other one can't win. <laughs> Guys will make a lovely power couple one of these days. The, the unpower couple, <laughs> the min min couple. <laughs> yeah, because because Blair is the only thing Molgax is allowed to hit. We're about like three players off from a war crime. Only three. War crime. <laughs> it's not a cr Leslie war crime. On that. It's not a war crime if there's no declaration of war, you know. You're right. As you use... Human rights violations are still a thing. <laughs> Those are a lot more fun, yes, exactly. He's entering into the room. The commander looks at you. Yes. So, in regards to the information that you've brought and the information that I've been passed through, you initially destroyed the tree and were told that you'd failed, but saw that some of the other things were dying. It's a real contradiction. However... Well, technically... You sent us to set, you sent us to find out what happened to the druid. You were able to find out. Yes, you just killed him. Workplace accident. Honestly, by if the it looks of it, he was any... already a walking dead. If it makes Let's any... call it a half success. If he if it makes any difference, he confessed to switching sides. <laughs> that means anything in worshipping the, the tree for some time, so I, I, I feel like... I mean, even without the... Yeah. Well, regardless of uh, who said what and done what, um, here's the information that's been found. All immediate direct descendants of the tree they died. So, anything that you used brought out, lived and died, maybe didn't make it. However, after about three generations, that's where it stops. So, whilst you have taken out a majority around certain places. That 
majority you've taken out will eventually become... It will replenish, if not already. And the blight will keep moving. To make matters worse, they are reports coming through from Neverwinter. Not about the blights, but about ritualistic killings, murders. They found a symbol. A symbol that we found around our own graveyards. It's, uh, we're not quite sure what it is, but and he you know, pulls out a really rough sketch of the, uh, the thing he's talking about. However, I don't have a handout for it. So I've had to place it in Discord. Gotcha. Is it the comment? Does that symbol mm. mean anything to any of us? Looks like a lesbian symbol. Jesus fucking Christ, Ruby. What? It's two fingers. <laughs> I mean, out of character, oh, I, can, hey. I can put the pieces together. Wait, uh, is I it know, a lesbian you know, symbol also? Could I, uh, could I roll a uh, history check uh, for... By Hunter's Bane. See if I can recall any information. And can I, given my history of collecting yes. items and knowledge, can I make a roll? Sure. All three make a roll. Uh, see, it's up there. Yep, that's it. Roll privately. <laughs> uh, roll, roll pi privately? No, no, how can you roll privately? <laughs> But you rolled uh, it so blind. Is this, are we, is this what kind of check are we rolling? So uh, give me history or religion. Would I get uh, advantage on this? Uh, I did say yes. All right, I said I didn't hear that. My bad, G. Uh, history or religion? Right. Remember, history is alt. Both. Not twenty. <laughs> nice. 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 I'm still bad at both of those. I don't know if it will be enough. Where is Bree? Is she still doing her baskets? No, you pulled me away from those. No, I didn't. Okay. Yeah, no, but it's because you're talking, isn't there? Uh, I'll give it rain pre as well because you know. Uh... Hmm. You should bet on religion. That tracks. Mm -hmm. That tracks. Hmm. <laughs> Seems like a symbol of an old god. Unsure what. Bree, that's about as much as you can ascertain. Oh, fuck. Who this old god is? How long? Gods only know. But it's... It's up there. It's old. I just realized that Haku just opened all of these damn prison cells. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie. He was looking for food. Um, <laughs> well, those those yeah, are buckets of lemonade there. Let's see it. <laughs> oh, no. Eye in a hand. Don't eat the yellow snow. Uh, it's it's kind of a like a gaudy purple too. It's direct from the book as well. <laughs> this is oh, they need a manicure. This is all Blair. He's like, yes. I noticed that as well. Thank God. Why are we in prison? <laughs> as he holds out to use once more the image of the fingers and the eyes. Fingers and the eye. And you're just like, oh, fuck is this? And Bri, you're like, that's maybe an old god. I don't know. Not 20, you're still not entirely sure. Is he? Because I'm stupid. Hi. Hey, girly. You just really want your Starbucks. 
No, fuck Starbucks. Damn right, Tim Hortons all the way. Oh, I could do with a nice latte. But... <laughs> as he looks... There's... been some strange... occurrences... at the... graveyard... somewhat... round the ways. Barring the... moving trees, um... People have been going missing around there. And there have been sightings of... Same thing happening. Oh? Sorry. Same thing happening in Neverwinter, you mentioned. Yes. Maybe it's a strange coincidence, but... There's something going on there. Let's... Maybe the trees are kidnapping the people. Maybe. That's always a potential. Either way, I would very much appreciate some uh, someone to look into this. I pick you because I feel your reputation could be doing with a little boost. I can burn down the trees, Commander. Are you an arsonist? I will save the people. I'm back. <laughs> could we... <laughs> could we please try to save the trees instead of just burn them down? To burn the people. I don't Why? think this is connected to the blight. I don't think we should oh. burn anybody. Alright, fine. Speaking of the Blight Commander, um, in mm -hmm. Oak Oakhurst, you've heard rumors, myths, and legends about a Netherese artifact that might be. I have no idea what you're talking about. Bit quick to protest there, don't mm. you? <clears throat> I've been asked about this quite a few times, and. People come here looking for some ancient Netherese object. If we yeah. had Netherese power here, you'd think the previous inhabitants would have left for some far flung adventure and never come back? I mean, adventurers die all the time. How many of go to the, the Astral Plane? If you have the Netherese object, why would you go to the astral plane? What is Netherese? What are... What does that mean? In a <laughs> time long, long, long before you or I, there was the Netherese. And they were brilliant people. But... They were also horrible. The gnomes. I can't remember if it was normal gnomes or Snivbefflin, but one of them were their slaves. But their whole empire, they. Uh, they were their own undoing. They built themselves up and up and up. And one boy, he had power to spells of it was either the 12th or 11th level. Yes. You heard me. What? He decided that he wanted to push that boundary further. And so he did. He tried to turn himself into a god. The history books call this mm -hmm. Carsus Folly. After that, even the god of magic herself, Mistara, I believe her name was, had to get involved. And that is why now he is only limited to the ninth level. Anything higher than that, and 
the gods themselves get involved. Ugh. Their objects are objects of might and power. Some strange obelisks in some parts of the world have been found with Netherese writings. I believe, I believe there's one in Chult. Do the Nedris people have a flag? <laughs> Fuck you. Not this again. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Nedris artifact would be delightful in the dragons. I will say. Oh, let it have. Okay, sorry. I feel sorry for getting sidetracked. So, <laughs> ritualistic killing, missing people in the graveyard. Should. Do you suggest we start in the graveyard? It's as good a place as any. <laughs> well, Tell us, how many people are, have been missing? Any clues? Any patterns? Is it children only? Men? Women? It's anyone and everyone. None? Gender? They are indiscriminate. They've taken man, woman, child. Ah, so they're an ally. <laughs> what, what, of, uh, what of the uh, social economic links? God. Where are these? We stand the Is it within the keep? The people within no. the keep are missing or? Low social standing? People yes. coming to the keep and passing by the area. It's in, like I said, indiscriminate. They don't care who they take. They don't even care for race. They've been dead Is lizard it folk. Night time. Yes. Is there a time to this? No. We run the assumption that it's night time because, uh, well, how else would we not see them? Okay. So initial plan, we send Pri out there alone. What? And we watch her. See if anyone attacks her. It's not unreasonable, but... And again, I can't stress this enough. You're sending single young female out into the dark on her own to potentially be kidnapped or killed yeah preferably killed the I mean, should rough it off not, not alone alone, alone. We'll, we'll be we'll be around we'll be around <laughs> i'm surrounded by idiots friends like these are a bit friends like these how about one of these prisoners in here can we use them as bait? They're just alcoholics. That's all. Alcoholics can we use this bait? Yes. I know what I have to do. <laughs> I'm in. Hey, I bet you guys won't go outside at night. Listen, Morgax taught me how to stand on one leg without falling. I think I can handle anything right now. One leg? I got to throw one many leg. rocks at him. It was delightful. I mean, it was important training. Yeah, he taught me big words like important too. Also, so you find the bo the bodies in the graveyard, then? Yes. Is it bodies and okay, so... corpses? The kind that walk. Oh, great, yeah. undead. Like, like people. If you think that a walking corpse is people, that's on you and that's your own sunny disposition on life. No, I'm just... He looks at his... I mean, like... There's a skeleton inside all of us. How about... Oh shit, Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> Which way is the great like god? Just a walking corpse. <laughs> How about we, um... Not send... Bri out. Instead... Send Blair out. I already volunteered. 
I'm for it. I volunteer Blair as well. I also volunteer Blair. I, you guys, you don't have to. I already said I'll do it. No, we. Okay, we, I volunteer Blair as well. Please, Blair, <laughs> you are. You, you have been chosen. <laughs> Should we rough him up a bit, make him look like an easy target? I uh. Uh, I was training with Mogax. I, I already look like an easy target. Make him look uh, weak and supple. I, he would like look Don't at him. Never like, say that. Okay. <laughs> He's like, I think I'm supple. <laughs> but let's let's get move out. The right person. To... He might be submissive and breedable. No, there's a great song about that. <laughs> Bahamut grant me strength. Bahamut grant me strength. <laughs> You're gonna have power here, boy. Oh god, no! I'm not, not the soap, you know! <laughs> but Tiamat is telling me. Yeah. Don't drop the soap! <laughs> Whatever you do! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's, let's, let's go. Uh, which way's the graveyard? East. I mean, they dump the body in the graveyard. They don't kidnap people from the graveyard. Aren't all bodies dumped in the graveyard? Blair? I swear Mine to is to be set on fire. Blair, you're not good with people right? skills, are you? I have amazing people skills. I find that hard to believe. I find it hard to believe that you're a dragon. Let's keep moving. Uh, I, I breathe fire! <laughs> yeah, but you breathe like, you know, I thought you breathed the acid. No, I use fire. fire. Uh, I haven't used any other element besides uh, fire. Sorry I, thought, uh, sorry, I thought it was acid, not fire. I'm like, yeah, you breathe fire, but, you know, I can breathe fire too. You're a kraken? You can't! No, I, you know, it's a performance trick, you know, you get the alcohol and the flaming thing and you just, you know, blow on it. I don't have anything to do with that! I just do- Yeah, no, no, not my- no, no, no. Bahamut, grant me patience. Bahamut, grant me patience. Bahamut, grant me patience. Can you teach me how to do that? Pray to Bahamut? No, um, uh, breathing fire. <laughs> Ignore them. Go what to kind the of alcohol do I need to drink? To the... <laughs> it's called Alchemist Fire. Baham. <laughs> oh, we have those. Mulgax. I think. Mul Mulgax aneurysm speed run. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get going on the. Okay, graveyard done. <clears throat> yeah, one sec. Can anyone hide us there? Let's set up a... I mean, we need to hide, right? Catch whoever is doing this red-handed. I mean... There we, go. we could hide once we're there, you know? We could maybe go inside an open grave. We could pretend to be right. dead. Yes. Don't they... But they dumped the dead bodies, so why would we pretend to be dead? Then it wouldn't be interested in us. No, we're sending Blair to go work the street. <laughs> oh! Blair's a horror! And then wait... Wait, wait yeah. until Blair shows up in the graveyard, or...? <laughs> oh, yeah, I think oh. that's a good idea. I could be the, the man on the inside. Instead of <laughs> Mogax, or... Inside of a what? coffin. <laughs> Same thing. What do you need? I heard my name. Blair hmm. wants to be inside of you. Whoa. Just a slow, slow I, turn to Blair. I, listen, I did not say look anything. look of utter disgust. I did not say anything like that. I feel <laughs> like, I, you know, honestly, Bree, I don't like how you keep sexually innuending me. I'm feeling You're like not my right type. Now. You're not my type either. You look like I would you die my great grandfather. I laid with Oh my god, there's made That's, for each other. Is that a poetic diss? Did you just poetically diss me? It's oh. so sweet when couples argue. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's not their fault, they're idiots. It's not their fault, they're idiots. So, Bree's gonna lean over to stupidity uh... Stupidity can be explained. Don't assume malice when it's stupidity. <laughs> Bree leans over to, um, to Leslie. Aren't they cute together? I know. <laughs> I can't wait till the wedding. 
Mm -hmm. I love a good <laughs> wedding. So, I, should I wear a red or a green dress? You wear clothes. <laughs> Most of the time. Maybe if you get lucky. I won't. I'm not familiar with this custom. <laughs> oh god. That recontextualizes a lot of fucking interactions. <laughs> A lot of things just started making sense real quick. <laughs> God, it was a feederism kink. Got it. So I'm slowly uncovering Leslie's background. <laughs> <laughs> Night door. I will say, you are oh, aware. So, so. You are aware here uh, that in terms of shopping, just in case you need to restock, there is an adventuring gear shop and a weaponsmith. And a weapon shop here in the town in case any of you need to get anything beforehand if you feel you have the money uh, I, I don't know if I have the prices I think uh, silvering a weapon is 10 GP right or is it 100 silvering a weapon yeah silvering a weapon mm, I think that's like 100 uh, I think it's and yeah but it's weapons 100 but ammunition's 10 or something like that yeah, I don't have enough for that. Mandra, can you... You haven't paid us for the previous job, by the way. <laughs> oh. I mean, we did... Yes, you're right. I have... Uh... <clears throat> I have... Got that. Oh, jeez. What is he? He starts going down the drawers and... Kind of opens one ever so much to put his hand in. You can hear that... You know... <sighs> like, bags. He does this, he's actually pulling the little bags out and looks over at Leslie. The Haku, since you're right there, you know, breathing down the man's neck, you want to make a perception check? <laughs> you're having a heart attack in his fucking right ear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still on the stable, by the way. I just made the assumption the entire time that you were with them in person. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there's a map or we're just... Oh yeah, there was a map. Oh, cool. Yeah, as you watch, he kind of pulls it all out. Everybody can add a hundred gold pieces to their sheet. What a piece oh! of... Ooh. Damn it, we're rich. Thank you, Commander. Is this what it's like not to be poor? Is this what it's like playing in a game where the DM gives you stuff? Yeah, I know, right? To be, to be fair, oh. how, how many devils do you know are just going to rock around with 20 gold pieces in their pocket? Think about that for a minute. Oh no, that's fair. <laughs> I understand oh, that. Oh great, I'm worthy DM. Wagwan, oh, my god. god. How oh, much wait, are rations? Rations? Uh, rations, I believe, are like gold Yes, for like ten. A gold piece. For ten. Oh, okay. I was gonna say that's it's expensive. expensive. Yeah. I said I think. I need to get so a double a check right now. A silver for a day's food. Uh, rations for a day is a is five, five silver. Five silver. So, for ten days worth of rations, like fifty silver. Five gold. Five gold. I fed what? that stupid goblin three and a half golds worth of rations. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, All for him, we spilled five gold for ten, five gold for ten day ration? And that, uh, 50, so 50 silver is five gold, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 50 silver is five gold, yeah. Five, five gold for ten days. Okay, I'll buy 10 rations. Kill okay, to knock it off. I, I want to go to the sh uh, weapon shop as well after this, or whenever I can. The shops are right there, you can walk. <laughs> Listen, I don't there... know, like, if, you know. Is there a music an instrument shop? I want to buy a pen flute. That would technically be in the adventuring gear shop. Oh, can uh, I buy a is... pen flute? Weapon shop. I think it's the WS. No, it's the Weaponsmith. 
Oh, there we go. You're fucking with me, right? I'm confused now. Weaponsmith makes weapons, weapon shop sells weapons. That makes sense. <laughs> and they're both WS. No, one's W and one's WS. Do you... Hey, I'm just curious. Would this It should a... be... It should be... Oh, God. AG, Adventuring Gear. Do you know what's? I'm pretty sure I put a, some. I put a thing somewhere, and now I don't know. Please tell me I put it, or did I remove it? I did. Yeah, it's just another shop. Yeah. What is he? Would hypothetically, since we just got a hundred gold, would this place have uh, like a plus one weapon? This is not a magic shop. Fair enough. Does this place have a magic shop? No. <clears throat> All right, worth a shot. Well, then I don't really need anything. Got a mess. <laughs> that would be something that would come later. Uh, what? What, are you what does Sammy eat? Does Sammy need Dragon. to eat? So, by all yeah. accounts, by all accounts, anything Sammy kills, Sammy can eat. Pretty sure dragons can eat like fruits and stuff too. It's whether or not they want to, because they are sentient beings. Uh oh, Bray. That's crazy. Don't you start. Oh, so I don't have to force feed him? No. He's, okay. either, he's either an okay. arsonist or a feeder. He's one or the other. <laughs> okay. I think he's both. <laughs> you have some strange kinks, my friend. It says a lot about <laughs> me, really. Have you tried being a DM? <laughs> uh, uh, one very horny campaign. Oh. <laughs> My uh, campaigns the average... are insane. Oh, oh my god, he is a DM. Oh god. I, I, <clears> one of my first sessions, I based it off of a... What's Thank that thing have... with David Bowie in it? Uh, oh, Goblin, Labyrinth. Goblin Slayer? Labyrinth. Labyrinth, that's it, yeah. And Goblin I, Slayer is I made, different thing. I made the Goblin King. <laughs> anyway. Okay, I'll stop there. So you step into the buildings. Uh, we'll go with Blair first as he stepped in here. This cobblestone building with all manner of weapons. Pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Scary. Blair, as we come into this room with you, with all the stone floors and all manner of weapons, you see this battle-worn woman missing her pinky on her right hand, covered in scars, kind of hairs, like box braids, so she's wearing like full plate armor. You can call her Mobby. I don't see oh, her, God. so I'll save that for later. <laughs> yes. You would, uh. Oh. Yep. Yes, you said, uh. Is it equipment shop? I'm looking for a, a, silver, mm. a silvered rapier. If you have one. <clears throat> Silver, you're gonna watch these flicking through our book. Why are you laughing? Why are you still laughing? I'm, I'm still giggling from the, the thing earlier. <laughs> I'm not gonna repeat it. I'll say if you need anything. Yeah. He goes like, uh, uh, have you, uh, you heard the rumors? <laughs> This is going to be such a heavily edited episode. I feel like it's uh, episode. Here's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say the word odd, and you're going to roll a persuasion check. Okay. A persuasion check, Templar. Well, you didn't say the word odd. <laughs> I was waiting for the word odd. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they do not have a silver drape here, no. And she it looks round. Uh, Daggers, but uh, if you have the materials, um, I believe that Eric, the dwarf, would be able to plate your weapon, I believe is the word. Is his last name Cartman? Is is he the one two doors over, the weaponsmith, or is that yes. racist of me? Okay, good. 
Uh, do you happen, I mean, do you look to, like, any other silvered weapons? Like, she mentioned silver dagger. So you'd say, how many silver daggers would it take to make one silvered sword? <clears throat> the process of silvering the weapon would require the destruction of the daggers and then the separation of the metals. Mm. And that costs time and additional money, so you would be as well just looking for three silver bars. Do not as head up. I appreciate it. Anything you are particularly looking for whilst you're in here? What are the daggers made out of? Like the the core of the dagger, iron? Like the the, the end side of like your standard steel, and then they be like you know depth in silver. Uh, no, not really. I was just looking to silver my weapon or get a different weapon. I mean. I mean, do you have the scimitar short sword silvered already? You can actually get silver off a <laughs> steel pretty easily because silver has a significantly lower melting point than steel. He has a single forge, Rippy. <laughs> yeah, but it's also like a like a labor process. Um, I know. Roll even. So, All right. Persuasion even. <laughs> I'm afraid we do not. If you have any silver to donate, I'd be willing to make a discount for yourself. He would sort of like scratch his face and say, if I had silver ingots, I would already be at the weaponsmith. I'm going to go see if the adventurer supplies store has anything. But thank you. Uh, your name was... <laughs> Where was it? Uh, Isa. Isa. I double S A. Well, I'm Blair. It was nice meeting you. And then you would go to, like, back Ash. out. Would... I forgot if this was closed or open. It was open. No, it was closed, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you close it a bit, and then, like, <clears throat> get on. As you all walk into the shop. Um, Sorry, her name is Femi, my bad. F-E-M-I. This, this woman in here. Another... Woman, the. No, this is a guy. The fuck? That's not a guy's name, Matthew. <laughs> That's not a guy's name. Not at all. Over this man, the dark complexion, full beard, nice and braided, old, smooth, type of guy that has to put sunscreen on his skull cap. Yeah. <laughs> Stands there. Looking. Uh, good day. Oh, can I uh, be of service? Uh, I was looking for a pamphlet. Do you have any? <clears throat> Pamphlets. Uh... Yes. Um. <clears throat> any like wood, bone. Uh, I think wood would work best. Whatever is the cheapest, honestly. He can walk over to the table over here-ish. Is it pink? Yeah. He's got a little drawer at the bottom. He's going to start looking through some of the instruments for... Uh, got this one here. It's only about this, but it's as big as a fucking DVD case. Remember DVDs? No. <laughs> yeah, it ain't that big. But it is mostly Except... intact. Average. <laughs> it's 
it's uh, uh, I'll call it ten gold. I'll give you eight. What? Give me a persuasion check. Hee <laughs> hee. What if I look really cute? I'll be right back. <laughs> That's nah, why you're I'm getting a persuasion straight. check. This is this is a, this is a guy. Oh, I'm afraid he's gay. <laughs> Nine. I don't have I don't have the store value. That's a <laughs> that's a deal. Doc made off out of pamphlet. Yep. <laughs> he looks yourself, Morgax. I'm actually and a lesbian. Mm -hmm. um, uh, oh. Wait, I already have a pen flute. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> Good job. Uh, I'm Can just here I... for. Do you have a, a set of brewing supplies? Brewing supplies? Uh... Uh, yes. It's the one. It's a... the one it's... tool. With many of this. Is he gonna present it like his little drawers by his desk and just gonna start like pulling out all these little things, put them in a, a box or kind of locks it? It's um 20 gold pieces for a full set of brewer supplies. And I don't suppose that on the off chance you happen to sell healing, is that a thing? Or even healer's kits? Healer's kits, I do have, yes. Okay. Uh, potions are not something that we keep in stock. Those are guarded under lock and key by the mayor. I'm guessing those are emergencies on. Yes, for the soldiers in the event of a war. Gotcha. So, uh, how much would a healer's kit be? Uh, it's a five gold. All right. Uh, I will deduct twenty-five gold. I don't really feel the need to haggle. Yep. I'm back. Don't okay, you over, me over here. Okay, yeah. you've walked into this place. Was there anything you were looking for? Uh, not really. Um. I'd like to show her the ancient dragon whistle and sapphire in her party loot. Those have numbers that correlate to the book. I remember. The basically work. asked, what can you give us for this? <clears throat> Do -do 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 -do. I know exactly where you got those as well. I just don't remember the number, but I know the exact room as soon as I see it. He's got that in room yeah, the, number the two. Room number twenty-seven. That's thirty-seven. Thirty-one. Twenty-four. Twenty-six. Yeah. So it was the six jewels carved like a dragon. Correct? Uh -huh. And the whistle made out of crystal. We also got a. Oh, wait, no, that's a crystal. That's not a music instrument. You're gonna look at it. Uh, he's smart. I'll give you. He's gonna start tapping through the gems. I'll give you sixty for the jewels. And. Hmm. What a nice sight check. Insight, please. Hello, Nico. He's a good channel. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to also gauge if the 
Whistle is magical. <clears throat> he's interested in it. You can tell he's he's looking at it. He's looking it over. You can gauge that he knows something that you don't. I know something you don't. <laughs> Yes, it's I know what we'll you are. Oh, guys, do you, uh, team, do you guys need these gems, or should I just sell it, split the pro I'll proceeds? Money. I'll take money. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll sell the gems oh. to you. How about for a deduction? I let you. I give you a better lead than me for your whistle. They... A better what? You take 50, and I'll give you some information in regards to your whistle. Damn, sex ad for 10 gold? That's crazy. <laughs> That's. Well, it's a party. Decision. What do you guys think? Uh, go for it. Okay. What the fuck is a whistle? Really? I have a. All right, let's do it. And add fifty, 50 gold. Then you may want to speak to Eric in regards to the whistle. The script is in Dwarvish. Oh, oh yes, Eric. Who's Eric? Department. Uh, the dwarf in the forge next door. Right. I'm I'm no All expert, right. but I believe Leslie speaks Dwarvish, but I don't have access to my character sheet for some reason. Uh, <laughs> uh, Funnily enough, the dwarf speaks Dwarvish. Who would have thought? <laughs> I'm a genius. Um, but well, thank great... you, ma'am. So 50 gold divided by 1, 2, 3, how many players do we have? Just a mix. Just, yeah, just just go ahead and unmet Rainfree. It's what Morgax would want. Uh, I hate you. I'm not wrong. I despise you. Um, I'm in the adventuring shop. No, 8 gold to everyone. Additional 8 gold to everyone. Yeah. 2 gold in the party loot. I have 99 gold now. Well, Leslie um, thanks you, but he couldn't possibly take your money. I'll take your money. <laughs> I'll take. You're just gonna gamble it. Let's <laughs> take it, man. You, no. you, you killed that goblin. You clearly need it more than me. Wow. Maybe you can get some more food. That is true. I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> oh, I wasn't. No. Nah. Oh well. Damn it. <laughs> so I'll go see Eric about the whistle. Hi, Eric. I'm not Eric. As you look at this uh, dark-skinned woman with box braids, missing a pinky and covered in scars. All right. I thought so. Wrong door, sorry! <laughs> Over to the weapons mill. Uh, where is his lamb his ass off? I need to go to the weapons with two guys, wait a second. You walk and you see the... Eric? Dwarf. Hi. How can I be Daddy? of service? Ah, uh, good day. Oh, why is it Swedish? <laughs> 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 I don't know, you hated representation. I have this whistle and... <laughs> it gets worse. I was clearly drinking when I wrote his name, because his name's Eric Erickson. <laughs> <laughs> I was clearly fucking drinking when I wrote it. <laughs> no, I was that, really actually, hoping... that, is, that is the most sober, like, fucking name you can ever come up with. <laughs> I was really hoping, I was really hoping to partner. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what, what? What's your name? Eric. 
Hey, what, what's, your, what's your full name? Like... My friends call me Eric Squared. <laughs> Squirrick? <laughs> Yorp. Fuck my hell. I do not like this. <laughs> uh, Eric, we'll be on. <laughs> I was told you can tell us something about this whistle, and I'll show him the whistle. <laughs> See, <laughs> looks at the whistle. You know what's worse? Like I had its name right there. I had its name right there. And you know what I done? Close the Rub fucking the book. Good job. He looks at it. Let's see, night caller. The night caller. <clears throat> he imparts the following to you. The night caller was made by the Dwegar, the cousins to the dwarves. And whilst in darkness, mm -hmm. under a night sky, it will allow you to animate dead. You can affect up to 10 foot of soft earth or similar material. It takes the creatures a minute to claw to the surface. And you can only use it once every seven days. I know how we can get back the druid. Holy cow. Okay, thank you, Eric Erickson. Uh, Eric squared. Squared. Square Enix. Uh, Daytona. Just nods and starts like smashing away at his hammer on the anvil, making weapon. I'm gonna tell the party about this whistle. What yeah, I think Blair more. should have this. True, he has a good but long. It's up to the party. Hello, hi. So uh, this is basically one of the two adverts you're gonna see for a while because the other one's still in some other videos. Anyway, uh, once again, we are on coffee and we are on Patreon link up here down below there is some stuff now on the patreon as well some maps for a game coming up as well as some resources that i've made as well for our games that i am running and that's the news as well as that those maps are also available on patreon such as well then we are still partnered once again with the great guys over at adventure on yes uh, if you want to play a game you know be it just a play by post or a quick one shot you know no strings attached by all means jump over uh, adventure on the links in the description Great server, excellent guys. You may even find a game run by myself. Alright, so we can do the apparel change. We've had a quick update. So here is your update. Firstly, on Mondays at 8 pm CEST, that's 7 pm GMT, 2 pm EST, 1 pm CST, and 11 am PST, there is the Dragonlance game. On Tuesdays at the same time, we have Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. On Thursdays, we now have Vecna, Eve of Ruin, where we're homebrewing the first 10 levels and then we're just going nuts from there with the actual module. Then, every second Saturday, at the same time, we have Fandelver and below the Shattered Obelisk. Yeah, I'd, I'd write that down. It's like 10 in the morning. Now, for our live games, we have Dungeon and Ad Mage. Now, if you are in the US, that is on a Friday night, and if you're basically anywhere else in the world, it's a Saturday morning. So, uh, if you are in the US, it is 5 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. If you're anywhere else in the world, such as myself, that's 1 a.m. UK GMT, 2 a.m. Central European Standard Time, and 9 a.m. Hong Kong Time because uh, Ronan is on that time, so we'll include it for uh, anyone in that time zone. So yeah, uh, that about is everything. Let's get back to it. What's going on? <coughs> I'm trying to buy a silver thing. Who oh, being... wants this whistle? I mean, I, where are you guys at? There, I'd say the, the shops, my friend. Yeah, shit. I was gonna go with them after this. Or uh, Mogax? Do you want this whistle? Bree? I mean, I'll take a look at Could it. Could be useful. I don't like the idea of undead. 
They're useful for labor. Me too, but... It messes with the circle of life. Could be useful for... Wesley Could be useful okay under emergency circumstances. What's up about Leslie? Leslie is comfortable with the idea of the undead. Yes? No, you betcha. They're just servants that can't die from exhaustion. Oh my god. He did learn a lot about Auschwitz, didn't he? Holy fuck. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. It's quite scary. Like, my, my character is slowly turning into a medieval fantasy Himmler. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't know how it's happened. But I can't a few ideas. <laughs> I cannot seem to stop it. <laughs> Character bleeds. Or speeding <laughs> someone that's emancipated to death is a... And then bringing up World War II while doing it the entire time while laughing maniacally and <laughs> holding your hand in a specific position. Maniacally is a strong word. Also a big word. I mean, Hello. to be fair, the purple flag, that is the symbol that the purple flag makes. Jesus fucking Christ. Tell me I'm wrong. I'd love to. Yeah, you seem like a flag enjoyer. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Dr. Sheldon Cooper. My favorite flag the hero flag. But yeah. Uh, anybody taking the whistle from Haku? I'll take a <laughs> If you don't want it, I'll take it. <laughs> You're trying to blow Haku. Uh, you know what? He's not bad. He's, he's not that bad. <laughs> we, can just, we can just leave it in the party loot for now. So everyone can use it when we need to. Uh, yeah, I'm done for that. I love yeah. Mr. Quantum Load. I bet you want everyone to wet your whistle. Hey, you guys gonna tell Blair about this later? <laughs> I mean, <it's> probably... No. <laughs> I mean, God, I just, wait, is there gonna be Tumblr fanfics about this? <laughs> Read right next to him. But yeah, let's use any other shopping to be done. Yes, Ooh. I would like to buy, I'd like to go to the adventurer's place where I am right now. Mm -hmm. And I would like to ask, Blair would approach the counter and say, do you have any silver ingots for sale? Silver ingots are not really adventuring gear, my friend. Well, I'm an adventurer, and I need it for my gear. You're the first person in <laughs> ten years. There's a couple logic there. There's a. How long have you been. been up here? Twelve years. So who asked ten years ago? Yes. Wait. I was not a yes or no question. It was some half elf? They asked, mm. and I didn't. Actually, you remember that is impeccable. Yes, I have a very keen mind. Me too. Oh. You gotta just. Nod his head of it. He's actually how much of the grappling rope, a grappling hook. By the grappling. I think that's just cool. a normal rope. Nope. When tied to the end of a rope, a grappling hook can secure the rope. To oh, there is specifically a tree or other protrusion. Yeah, I want to get um two grappling hooks. For four GP, if that yep. is around. Yeah. All right. And bags and pills was it? Hmm. I think that I think that'll be it. Good day. Yeah. You too. And then you go to do 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 do. Not the weapon shop. They. I'll put that PDF in there for you guys just so you know what's good. Hell yeah. You put Pepsi in chat? Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. Walk on inside. 
<laughs> he does not Eric. care. He looks at you, just hammering away rhythmically. Mm. Hmm? Best way to hammer. Ah, uh, I'm looking to get some uh, silvered weapons. The uh, shop down the way didn't have any. I was wondering if you perhaps had anything on stock or metal that could be quickly dipped. Or not quickly dipped, but you know what I mean. All my stock goes to the shops. I supply their demand. Do you have silver? I have a bar. He pulls out a very small, what could only be like a 10 gram bar. I need two of these, right, to make a sword? Or to Probably look at a bit more than 20 grams. Oh. I, think, I think you were saying like three bars, but this is not a full bar, it seems like. Alright. You could say, do you know where I can get more silver? Watching him like stops hammering and goes under the table and pulls out a little hat and a pickaxe. So walks up just the hat on your head and gives you a pickaxe. <laughs> there is a mine twenty miles that way. Mining away. I'll give you the best gold. deals. I appreciate this and he'll take off the, the hat and the pickaxe. And he'll say, I don't plan to go mining, but uh, I was hoping that you knew of a uh, ore vendor. Someone who dealt in raw resources I could go to. But I'll just get the silvered weapons another time. If I have any come through, I will keep some for you. Thank you. Alright. Oh my. Oh my. Does he actually blow my kiss or no? Oh yeah. Okay, never mind. I was gonna give him a gold piece for being so friendly, but now if you blow a kiss, <laughs> no. He likes your pale complexion. Now, now he deserves two gold pieces. <laughs> I think he wants a piece of that ass, not the no, piece of gold. No, he deserves a restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Haka, you walked back into the shop. Yep. Um, do you guys have a Portable ram or a crowbar or boat. My brother in Christ, I thought you were going to say portable hole. Jesus. Uh, portable right ram. We've, we've had issues with doors before. <laughs> I think we need some kind of tools. Yep. Yep. See. Moves on over to the back over here and it's going to unravels essentially this toolkit and you just see all manner of crowbars of different different colours and metals but they're all about the same to hear that tung, 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 tung. Is there a pink one? There could be a pink one. Yeah I'll take one crowbar and portable ram. Uh The looks. I actually looked to see if that was a thing, believe it or not. As he points to the a thing. bag. SWAT style. What's the bag on the table there? It's uh, all wrapped and ready. Alright. Um, how much total? I believe a crowbar is like a gold. Could be, it could be completely wrong. Crowbar is two gold, uh, so did he do? Z looks uh, six, six gold. Okay. I'll pay the man, uh, the woman, to go. The man. This is Eric Erickson's. I call him a woman. Eric's over here. Eric Erickson's son of Eric Erickson's. You pay him the gold and he gives you a little nod. 
Anything else? That's it for me. Thank you. Bye for now. Portable RAM. Are you using the uh, search bar for that shit, yeah? Equipment shop. Oh, you're using the actual equipment shop and fucking built into the fuck's sake. In plutonium, yeah. I wish all my players were like you. <laughs> Looking at you, Pepsi. Wait, why wouldn't you use plutonium? <laughs> I just put the money side of it. Like, I, I am very much a manual person myself, but I know people aren't. It's just so handy, though. Alright. Plus, I do actually have all those books that I use in plutonium. Either in my cupboard, or on D&D Beyond. Me too. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. We're not, we're not, we're not the police, Scott. You don't have to justify it to us. I am poor. <laughs> I, I actually work for uh, Watsy. But I do. My I'm not dad, lying. So wait, you're going straight to hell then. My dad yeah, works no, for Microsoft. He's gonna ban your Xbox. <laughs> My dad's Bill My dad's Gates. Is Bill Gates. <laughs> My dad owns your dad. Bill Gates was my dad, I will just be in the sex island. Well, my I dad didn't... sits on the window ledge. <laughs> Aye, well, my dad licks the window. <laughs> Alright. My dog sits on I'm the window. I'm done shopping, guys. Should we go ahead with the operation? Oh, yes, Operation, what was the operation? Keep out Blair. Who's getting oh, operated on? Yes. Yes. Blair, come here. I've got a lovely skirt you need to try on. Oh shit. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. Show up at a thigh, man. <laughs> Notice this made me back to the tavern. <laughs> can I shave you with my dagger? <laughs> Forced from Blair. I'm I'm down for it, honestly. You're down bad for Blair? Oh. No, for, to force from Blair. How do I lock a door? What What are you trying to give Blair out of curiosity? Barring he an STD. Legs. Legs. These nuts. I will see. As you do all. Start moving towards the graveyard, towards that particular area. It is a long and arduous trek. It takes some amount of time, but you are moving through the forest. It's quite nice, it's quite good, it's doing quite well this particular section, but you feel pain as you walk. You're getting closer and closer to something that you don't want to see. That something inside you wants to be a part of. You watch as trees and these huge thickets of forest some just seem to always want to be barren of their leaves. Others seem to have almost wilted away to nothing. There are some trees where branches seem to have broken off in weird places and others where branches seem to be impaled through them. You do eventually come to a point where you can't quite tell what's been blighted and what's just dead but you do end up making your way okay ambiance you know into this very nice looking area it's well maintained for a concrete jungle that it is Oops, Sam. I should have made this bigger. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a few trees you come in. Fences start to make their way. Rather nice steel iron fences. The regal design. There were flower beds here. Were. Now it's just patches of dirt. As you start to see two buildings parallel to each other, creating a small alleyway with doors on either side. You see headstones and graves with flowers, graves with dead flowers, and a few bones here and there. Yes, I will be playing Molgax as well, till he comes back. And just let, let me know if you can see. We can see. Good. The loading for me. I can see clearly now, the fog is gone. Oh, we're seeing different sides. I can see the fountain then, front of me. See here, this is the... This isn't even a big fail, which is good. This is the circle of light. It's uh, three megabytes, so... It moves through as though... Oh, I'll reload. Ruby, you seeing? Yes, I believe so. Yeah. And it's just Haku that doesn't. Me can go ahead. I'll load it. DP, I will move Haku as well. Bebedich, Shimana. This point, you're just moving everybody. I'm playing half the party. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, my <laughs> mouse is just disconnected. Uh, don't worry, he'll out. move you as well. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. And I say D&D is a multiplayer game. You know there are people that will play for, that, that will pay for a solo experience where they are like, if they're playing with someone, or they're playing with other people, they are the main character. I am. Um, when did we start, yeah. when did we start allowing that? You know, uh, sometimes when I'm sad and lonely, I will do a random countdown numbers round. I just pick six numbers and I try and make the big number. What? It's kind of like that. There's a TV show over here called Countdown. You don't have Countdown in America? Or no. wherever you guys are from? Ruby's from the Netherlands. They don't have Countdown. Not me. Ribby, you don't have the Netherlands? Or Canada? Y'all get after us. Y'all get oh. after us about our education system. Yeah, y'all have a game show about counting. It's not just counting. It's also it's also letters. It's, it's also spelling. It's called countdown because you're on the clock. Yeah, you have 30 seconds to get the, the big number. Or you have to solve an anagram that's nine letters. Essentially. Who the fuck made these rules? <laughs> 8 out of 10 cats I mean, does they're... countdown is great. That's amazing. Carrot oh. in a box. R.I.P. Sean Locke. <laughs> Raining carrot in a box champion. Oh my no, god, I, I love get... carrot in a box. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. You are free to move around. Alright, Blair. Yeah. Shake that ass. Show me what you got. She... <laughs> no, I don't oh. want to. <laughs> she... that no, sing it. Me. Sure. She... That sure. me. No one else wants to lead the way? <laughs> Alright, Sammy. All right. Fine. Do your best mating call. <laughs> Opening the door on the left. He's opening the door. Holy... You come into... Cow. A mortuary. This is... By all accounts, a mortuary. You can see the slab where bodies are prepared. You can see bodies that were yet 
to be buried. And the place is filled with spider webs. It's been derelict for some time, clearly. Oh, fuck me! Also, okay. is it the wife? Yep. No way! <laughs> no fucking. Well, you did that, I'll go to the corner. Absolutely fucking shot myself. So, anyway. <laughs> Morg. Bye, Mick. Bye, Mick. Bodies and all different ways of the key. Very clearly. Very clearly not being um, looked at in at least a few weeks. Ooh, next level we get there. Mm -hmm. Fuck up with this place. And I check the records. <laughs> I'm one of those people that bite ice cream but got sensitive teeth as well. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, people just people don't bite their ice cream normally. No, they lick it. They're supposed to l lick it. Oh, yeah. tantalizingly. Okay, I may have <laughs> been about eating ice cream. The records show okay, that there were no there were three people last brought in. One, John Haymeyer. Died of old age. He was 60. A woman simply called Lady Jennifer, with air quotes. She seems to be drained of all blood prior to her autopsy. And then there is unnamed male who seems to have been stabbed five times that was his cause of death and these are all in about a how long ago through. was this the most recent was the man stabbed to death but even that was still two weeks ago that was like the tuesday did we say And it hurts people. I don't like this place. There's too much there. You know, bang on the railings to this thing. <laughs> that there's a drain. Can I bang on the railings to the drain? Yep. You give it a bang. You do hear it go down a fair bit. That rattle, the echo. But. Nothing rattles back. Um, what was the cause of death again? Of who specifically? That being the corpse in the coffin. Mm, that one in the coffin. Drained. Me next. Drained What's of up? blood. Drained of all blood. That was the exsanguination. Is that the word for it? Yes, exsanguination. It is. <laughs> Good. Could I look over the body and seem to recall information about vampires to see if this might look similar? Um, I know this is the morgue area, but if the cause of death was the draining of blood, then yeah. that's something. Let's yeah. like give it a little try. I mean, 17. Vampires in this area? Not something you're aware of. Not something that's been heard. But they do often drain blood, usually through the neck. Draining someone to death, however, is either a very hungry vampire, a very new vampire, or not a vampire at all. Where's the, the incision for the exsanguination? Is it the neck? The She's the, fully wrapped at this point. Fully wrapped? 
I like to cut the wraps. Mm, we can add desecration of a corpse to your uh, your rap sheet. Rap sheet. <laughs> uh, I mean, <clears throat> you open it up. Do you see that there is a puncture mark on the neck? But it's a singular puncture mark and quite a quite a large gauge. Mm. And there's no other wounds on our body? None. He would nod some and say that it appears the morticians are up to no good. Um, I'd like to see if there was any other tampering to the bodies. You know, they were wrapped up. Maybe there was a rituals you you mentioned rituals you know these bodies are wrapped up were they perhaps being prepared for some ritual i like to you know smell for incense or like you know other herbs that would be used in such things i feel i feel a common central in order the ritual being burial fair you mentioned, but you, I thought you mentioned the rituals before of the undead, or not the undead, but there's you know rumors of rituals being done or something. Yeah, rumors of potential cultist slings, like that, what? but like a potential slings, you know, call right. cult in her eyes. But in this case, you know, she is a dead body, drained, but the draining was the cause of death. Yeah. That body was long dead before it was wrapped. Are there yeah. any animals around? This place seems to be devoid of most. However, you do hear the odd cawings of the ravens. What's in ah. this room? Ah. This room you walked into is a living quarters. It has, however, been in a morgue? Groundskeeper. Oh, makes sense. Thank you. Can I ritual cast speak with animals? Try to call, talk to the uh, Druberta here? Yeah. Is there uh, anything of note in this room? There's a little table there. Seems uh, well set, amongst other things. There's a... It looks like Everything that was happening in here seemed to stop. Is there still stuff? Spoiled about? Yeah, like, there's a half-cooked egg that's kind of moulded now in the frying pan. <laughs> oh, wait, there's two doors up here. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny. This so here's the bedroom. Single bed. The dresser. That there is the shitter. Unflushed. Okay, no. Uh, <laughs> can I inspect it? Is there, Wesley, no. Is, is, can I take a big of it? If, I need uh, to see the creature's diet. Uh, is this a... Is, there, is this a... If I, if, what was that? Please take I, I was gonna say, uh, is this a close... He's a ranger, he knows what he's doing. Yes, yeah. it's a close coffin. Can I search the bedroom for anything of note? Yeah, give me an investigation check. Sure. You look around, you do find a small bag. That's you know, small, you know, it's about... Well, that's its average. That's about the size, you know. Oh, it looks pretty average. In an average bag of average proportions and average every way. Alright, is there anything average inside? You open it up and find an average three copper. Oh, sweet, with money. Uh, I'll take three is copper. This a, is this a demon skeleton over here? Can I zoom in? Huh? Dragonborn. Dragonborn. Oh, you're I racist. Mean, I, see. Shit. <laughs> I like to. I like to. Like the call like for him. everyone. I'm leaving the ship, man. I will gladly answer your call. Guys, come come over here. 
Okay. I'm a, I'm about to do the uh, most dangerous thing someone can do when they hear undead or nearby. Uh, I want to close the coffins. In open case they start moving. Nope. Wait. I'm opening this coffin. I can do it for you. Have any strength to open a coffin? Yes. Yeah, Dormaturgy can open a coffin. Technically, only doors door? and windows. Technically, speaking, a, a coffin's a door. Uh, Ruby, I said yes. It's a lid. It's not a door. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I've, I've have I finished casting at this point? I would have been able yes. to ask the birch for any any information. <clears throat> yes, you would have finished casting by now. Like, is, is there any birch nearby? Or hold any, on, anything hold on, that guys. I can talk to? Let's see. As you are casting, you do see a little fluttering of a raven to this tree. I, uh, I, I kind of call out, like, Hey, buddy! Can you, uh, can you help me? Bird looks. It takes a little moment. Why are you rolling for me? I meant to roll privately. <laughs> 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 well then <laughs> good job the bird kind of looks down Let's see the bird yeah uh, have you seen anything happening here anything weird Trees, they've been moving. They shouldn't be moving. Have you seen what they do here? No, can guess though. Go for it. Morgue. Cemetery? Wait, a bird understands the concept? It's a raven. Ravens are incredibly smart, relatively. Corbids are fair. really smart. That's fair. They can recognize themselves in the mirror. They can recognize people that have pissed them off for up to two years and actively harass them. They can also communicate to other people, like, hey, this person is bad or this person is good. They use cars to pop open nuts and like put them at the, like wait for the red light to go on, put the nuts on the road, then get out of the way, wait for the light to turn green. Cars drive over, light turns red, and they they grab the nuts. But when I put my nuts in the road, I'm a danger to society. Yeah, you're doing indecent exposure. Like yeah, you're the one watching. <laughs> 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 Uh, just contemplate my don't life make story. the joke, Jack. <laughs> it's not the time or the place. Go for it, make the joke, I dare you. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Type it in Discord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good compromise. We can all see it. People don't need to hear it. I don't need to do any more editing. I wanna, I wanna open a fucking coffin. I wanna... I will see. I will see is... Simultaneously... Haku is like, oh, Leslie's like, da -da 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 -da, and Blair's just trying to rip this thing open. It just, whoosh, whoosh, as it does, Haku, you want to see this? It says, you can detect good and evil until it ends. You know, any celestial, fiend, or undead. Um, you're getting a bit, you're getting some pinging. Definitely getting some pinging from about the coffin. Where? Which coffin, though? The coffin that Blair's standing that next to. In fact, kind of next to the coffin. Not directly the coffin itself, but next to the coffin. Is it Blair? Next to the coffin. It's Blair. Oh, it's invisible. Blair, get out! Get back, Blair! The coffin itself is completely yeah. empty. Can you ping where the pinging is? Oh, it's... Is it Blair? Dude, there's nothing in the coffin. You get closer, the oh. 
Peg feels closer. The peg is right in front of you. Dude. I'll pull back Blair. Hey. The peg moves. Yeah. And just stare at I'm gonna stare at Blair for a bit. He's a fiend. He's very a fiend. Celestial. I, what are you, you, Blair? What What do you mean, what am I? Wouldn't I ping as well? I'm a person. You would as well. Yeah, you. Sorry, yeah. And also, uh, and also Blair, uh, Bree pings as well from the other end. Now that you kind of okay. like realize it. Um, Blair. Celestial. Blair's a bit of both, however. Like, he's strong. He's strong, yes, but he's weak too. Bree is strong one. Okay. I just did. Oh, never mind. I thought I saw something. You guys are oh, weirdos. Am I a dragon? <laughs> there was something, alright. If you're a dragon, I'm the queen of England. Wait, what's in England? No. There is no Queen of England. That <laughs> <coughs> works. Yeah, as you are speaking with the the bird. Um, you all can hear the tweetily tweet tweet tweet. Mulgax, perception check. Oh god. Watch me trigger a trap. <laughs> the bird radis is out. Fuck! Sweet. So. Well, guys. Yes. A thirteen misses, right? Just hey, misses. However, hey. you all watch as tree lunges out. I'm gonna go ahead and ask us to now roll initiative. Be uh... beard. Hmm? I'm guessing I'm surprised. Uh. I'd say, yeah. Alright. Alright. That's why they call me Never Surprised at Blair, because I'm never surprised. Uh, the hey, must suck at parties. So, uh, so, Sammy will be removed from initiative. Sammy yeah, goes directly yeah, yeah. after you. Alright, but yeah. <clears throat> Drake Warden. Plus eight to my initiative. I rolled my nat one, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, one of the bad guys rolled a nat 20. It's my oh, no. only roll oh. this session. See, Haku, you got that direct one. 8. Yeah. That gives you 19. Nice. Now, I realise I haven't set the, the ambiance quite right, but that's okay. Let's fix that. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Uh, oh. <laughs> 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 oh, you are in the jungle, the jungle, the jungle, the jungle, the lion sleeps we should make this a YouTube show. <laughs> it's it's four, four like what is it three and a half hours into D and D. We've been playing D and D for thirty minutes. My party is currently singing. I don't even know the name of that song. Uh, uh the jungle, literally the jungle. Just the jungle. No. no, in the air tonight. No, no. that's Phil Collins. Uh, uh, That's the one that goes. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it yeah, is yeah. literally called uh, in the jungle. <laughs> so I need both Molgax, Haku. Actually, no, it's the lunch sleep tonight. Oh, and and the Raven. <laughs> no, not the Raven. Not the Raven. Oh, sorry, Raven. We all we all need to make deck saves. Well, the raven saves. 
funniest thing about the raven, oh. even if it saves, it dies. Damn. Hold on, gets better. He watches the raven dies. As it does, a woman falls from the trees. Huh? Oh, I need to That's a woman? It's a druid? You can... Arku, third. Alright, I'm oh, sorry, dick saves. Hold Please. on, sorry, one second. Thirteen? I gotta stress. What's up with this motherfucking druid? Oh, I actually rolled twice. Ouch! Uh, no, you, it's, uh, it says you've rolled twice because I'm logged in on the laptop as well. Ah. So you rolled a 7 on your last save as well, I think? Or you rolled a 7 for like... Initiative or oh. something. <laughs> so you take... 9. Yeah. Whole beefy 9 points. Wait, Haku saved. I don't know why I... Haku should have taken half of that. Sorry. Man, this Razor Blight is underperforming. You should see a doctor. And we move on over to Aku! Who are you? I turn to the fallen woman. Now is not the time. Okay. Um. Booming Blade on the tree. Oh, you're one of those bitches. What the fuck? It's, it's weird. I haven't fixed it. It's weird. How do you roll zero? You roll my attack. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. I know what he's doing. Wall. I know what he's doing. Don't worry. It's not. Ah, oh, this fucking midi guys. Midi is a dick. Uh, yep. Here you go, mate. You keep Tim's name out of your mouth. Ten. Ten will miss. Probably miss it. As I said, I'm pretty sure I've got the setting turned off where walls uh, affect it. So, yeah, as you take a swipe at this huge ass, I suppose I should let you see what you're dealing with here. Yeah. Very humanoid looking uh, blade of tree. Do you know anything else to turn? Um, bonus action. Mm. Not too far now. That's my turn. Guys, I think Groot is having a revolt. Um, what's... I uh, know, dumb question. What's your pact right now? Hexblade... Pack of the... Oh, no pack. No pack, yeah. Oh, you get packed at se second level, don't you? Mm-hmm. Third level, I think, yeah. No, it's second. Rain free at this point. Well, Invocation is second. Oh, I mean, like, pack to the yeah, blades that will let you add your charisma. I already changed it to charisma. Oh, Your yeah, charisma is plus three. That attack's plus yep, two. Yep. Uh, I'll just All like, right. I know everything would still miss, but yeah, just so okay. you're aware. Didn't want, didn't want another I'll change. So this creature here is on. It's got less than half cover. That's good. Uh, well, uh, I guess Renfrey will look at the tree and in the most unRenfrey thing possible. Just go, pussy! That's supposed to be vicious mockery, not bane. <laughs> and ask the tree for a wisdom saving throw. The tree absolutely fucking fails it with a nat one and takes three cicac damage. And then Blair, uh, uh, and then Renfrey will kind of like put a hand on Blair, but not Blair, on like, on like Bree and be like, go ham. He or, must or, have or, or don't, I don't, or don't, I don't know if that's offensive to your kind. Druids, that is. Blair! Well, uh, moving forward, right, because here's the sound of combat. Uh, 25 feet will get me here. You are. Uh, I still don't see the enemy, so I'll move 30 feet here. You can I kinda can, see I, the enemy, maybe three quarters yeah, cover. I can, yeah, I could see him a bit. Um, Plus five to his easy, if you wish to do anything that requires an attack roll. Nah, I'll use action to dash. Go okay, kill. Okay. And I'll go... Uh, you're gonna pass through a wall if you go through those trees, just like, you know. Oh. Well, so you get there, you should be fine to like, you know. Oop, there you go. And then 55. 
Remember your training. I, I wanted to. I wanted to actually move here instead. Yep. My bad. And then, um, as a bonus action, I would like to use my Crimson Right, which is one d four. Yep, the right of Crimson Dawn. Did it roll it? Yeah, I take four damage. Yep. Uh, I could do health, by the way, if you want me to do my health. If you want to do your own health, by all means. Yeah, no, no, I, I just, um, I know you mentioned it the other day. I just thought you liked doing people's health. So you know it's right. I've tried to do it in the past, but yeah, no. And uh, that will be my turn. Kill, this is the fire damage one? No, the radiant damage. Oh, radiant. Yep. Kill. Blue, uh, similar to his flaming one, what appears to be blue flame, but more bright appears to be uh, pure blue light in the shape of flame. Yep, that is his turn. Great. Um, <laughs> that's for myself. Fuck. Uh, why? <laughs> Why no, is it saving wait. throw? I was testing something. What? That's intelligence. I'm a dumbass. Clearly, anyway. you rolled intelligence and only got a six. You've got plus None three in intelligence. Are... Oh, none of. Yeah, I'll save. So have uh, proficiency. These aren't on dead, right? This is just like a, a blighted tree kind of thing. Yeah, it's very. It, whilst it looks extremely humanoid, it is very much just a tree. Uh, I'm gonna go here. Does the druid seem hostile? She's still currently on her ass. Um, she was having a pleasant conversation with you, and I'm gonna, you're, I'm I'd gonna say ask... you're aware that she's aware that it wasn't you that knocked her out of her form. I'm gonna ask her if she's okay. Yep. Yep. Um. Um. Yep. So yep. yep. Okay, two thumbs up. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna throw up the, uh, the tree. Uh, fourteen for one. Uh, you pulling it or are you keeping it? Leaving it. I'm leaving it. Cool. You smack a bitch for one. So you. Whoosh. You hear that? You're gonna pull it back. It's a bit warm. As you know, rubbing twigs together, makey fire. Did anything else your turn? I'm gonna go back here. Did anything else? Uh... No. Mulgax, I think I speak for all the party when I say... Fucking hit it. You said I was, you said I was surprised earlier. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. Either way, the, the point still stands. You watch as the druid kind of stands up and she does kind of... Rubs her hands together and she... Gives it a little clap, you watch as her skin starts to flake. And I recommend some shampoo and conditioner. I knew females shedded. I knew what? it. Never call someone a female again. That's just wrong. I think this yeah. is the second time someone said that to you. <laughs> Wesley. <laughs> Wesley. Battery is low. Fuck. Bonus, Sorry, yeah. someone, someone just came into my room. Uh, da -da -da -da. Ah. Um, I can walk through Bree for a uh, rough terrain, right? Yes. Is that that is the rule? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So difficult oh. is the correct word, but you know. Difficult, rough, shit's tough. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shoot it. Shoot it. I oh. cast Glock 19. This is blocked by a wall? Which is hilarious because... Oh yeah, do you know what wall's I blocking can it? I clearly the, see yeah. it. Do you know what wall's blocking it? The tree. Give me the a little tree. sec. Uh, let me go to midi and see if I can turn Would that off. Would you like me to... I, I can just untarget and Do you take the attack if you want to do that? Untarget it. Target Haku. The... <laughs> Okay. It, mean, it means he's technically attacking the right thing because that we don't use penises here. Um, where is it? Wall. Um, walls allow ranged attack. Walls do not block ranged checks. There we fucking go. Why was that oh, still? Long? I get the feeling I'm gonna miss. 
You do, in fact, sadly miss. Alright, then I'm going to command Sammy yeah. to go up hmm? and uh, just... Om nom 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 nom. Uh, just bait it. Om nom 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 nom. You've got control of the tokens, so by all means. Yeah. Uh, can I... Is that going to That'll be me? fine. That'll be it fine. Is. Eight. Oh! Ooh! Eight. Sammy kind of just comes in and immediately takes a bite and rips through. That is some fucking good damage. He makes up for the fact that you miss with his own hit. That's I'm a so happy. It's a wingman, that is. Did you end your turn instantly? Uh, I ended my turn. Oh. Should I not do that? No, 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 no. I was going to ask you to do it, but if you're, if you're going to be going to be like that, like I can't, you know. Oh, it's beautiful. I just don't need you. That's that's all it is. Wow, having, having, a, it. having a player do these. Oh, it's. <laughs> I do it about I know, like I know, but to with Thomas, any other time you do it, he watches another tree blight seems to walk out from where it was. As it does, you watch it kind of takes its claws towards yourself, Mogak, standing partially in the water, and just rips up towards you with DOS attack. Motherfucker rolled two sevens back to back. There's two of them? Oh wow, sevens, really? Yeah, two, uh, two natural threes. Damn, my curse is spreading. <laughs> this is Bree's curse. It's one here, we'll take a swipe at Sammy, and then a swipe at Sammy, because its intelligence is that fucking low. At no, Sammy's AC. Sammy. So a 10 for 14, and then a natural 20. Does this count as animal abuse? Nah. Uh, uh, well, that's 16 AC, so what did the 20 hit for? Uh, 24 hits for... A uh, natural 20 is 24 hitting for 12. Damn, that near fucking killed Sammy. Yeah, Sammy's weak right now. Oh, oh he's bloodied. Oh, oh Sammy. Oh, cool. Hmm. Okay. This guy's a bit tough. Bonus action, Hexblade Curse. Mm-hmm. On the tree, then another booming blade. I won't roll the booming is blade, it, only it, if he moves 1d8. There's a d8 on the hit, is it not? I oh also, no, at level 5. I also watched the hit also, go through, but I didn't I don't see the roll. Do you oh, it's on self roll, sorry. I didn't even I'm see sorry. it. Oh, cool. Hexblade's curse. I need advantage. You need advantage? Oh, Hexblade. It's a 12, so yeah, 17 for Hexblade. 11 damage. Hexblade gives you advantage? Yeah, Hexblade curse. You can bonus Final damage. Mistake. Attack rolls are cut. No, you, you don't get an advantage. Attack rolls oh, made against the Don't worry, 17 still hits, by all means. The 17 uh -huh. for 3 plus proficiency bonuses. I want to say 3. 2. So 11, 12, okay. 13. Is you going to come mm -hmm. in, swing, splash? It straight up dies, and you get Warlock level plus Charisma modifier and hemp hit points. So you get 4 hit points back. All right, do you want to throw you. them on for yourself, or would you like me to do it? I think it's temp HP. I'll do it. Um, sure. uh, that is hit points. Oh shit, nice. Move up. Okay. Circle okay. around here, and Perfect. that's my turn. Okay. Uh, rent fair. See, see, I can appeal to everybody. Rent fair. I said what I said. Hey, that's my line! Yeah, I said what I said, sir. I mean, she could heal you, but you know. Uh. You know what? She wouldn't heal me. <laughs> yeah, she'd actually more than likely cast Toll the Dead on you. <laughs> Instead, she's gonna cast Toll the Dead on the tree. Oh, thank God. And I need to fix the Toll the Dead here real quick because. Call it light. Yeah, told the dad. Don't know if you see that. 
the damage and how it goes. Love it. So the creature takes the d8, which I believe... Yeah, the d8 there is 5. If the creature passes, I feel I should point out. If the creature fails, I feel I should point out. And it passes with a natural 18. Maybe I'm like, God damn it. Blair. Blair. Yes. Blair is on it. He's walking up. Is this like a fountain that we can walk around and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy enough. All right. Well, goes over. He examines this creature for a moment and speaks a few words of um, comfort to the thing as he goes to slash into it. Uh, you know, as he a small prayer for whatever sentience and you know is left within that tainted husk of wood. He's going in. That does not hit. Uh, that's it. Arit. Uh, <laughs> Bree. Where where's the tree gone? Uh, it's another tree in front of uh, Morgax. Oh, yeah, I was too zoomed in. Are you, uh, are you using the VR headset again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Contemplated lying there, didn't you? Me never. <laughs> Wait, am I within 30? Uh, are you within 30 feet of the tree? 35 foot, you would need to move 5 foot. Okay. I wonder what the VR Me. POV of this looks like. Uh, it's just my desktop. Oh. oh, that's weird. Why does it not allow me to drag? Can I move? Hello? Uh, okay, it's being yep, annoying. So I'll move you. And fit. Okay. And then I uh, flip him. Uh, nine <laughs> for two. So not. And uh, that's my move. My turn. Okay. Realize it's a little bit dark. Healing up this a little bit just for everything's sake. Then we move over to Molgax. Now I think I speak for all of the party when I say fucking hit. Also, what's your damage type? First. What'd you say? What's your damage type? I think we need to worry about that uh, after was, he hits. Uh, I, I was gonna say fire, but now so, that you said that. No, I just I just need to know for my miss. own. Don't worry. Uh, fire. Yep. Yep, there we go. Yeah, huh? He hit! He hit! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. I want, I'm still at key point. I want to hit again. <laughs> I want to tempt fate. Yeah, I'm tempting fate. That means I can make, like... Well, I'm just double-checking. I can spend to make two more bonuses. Um, only a slight, or one more. Slight, slight, slight problem here, mate. You rolled twice. What do you mean? Oh. You get an 8 and then a natural 20. Yeah, I can still make one more with the key point. As a bonus action for Flurry of Blows. Oh, I, I need to declare it first, my bad. No, 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 just Flurry of Blows is a bonus action and that other attack is a bonus action. What? Well, they do. I, I hit. They both do the same thing. I just hit the first unarmed strike I saw. Well, no, the but the action I is one attack. Does bonus action your, 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 your thing lets you make another unarmed attack as a bonus action, does it not? Yeah, that's what I did. I did action and then unarmed strike as a bonus. And yeah, I wanted to use and the then to make one more. key point, flurry of blows, is a bonus action again. Flurry of blows. Yeah, that's why, that's why, that's really oh. why I was conceding. Oh. I was conceding, yeah, I need to declare the key point first. My bad. So... So, yeah, that's, that's it then, I guess. I will bash Me, that. Uh, I will move away, though, since I can... No, I spent my bonus action already. Anyways, I'm going to move the fuck away with mobile. Untouchable. Uh, did anyone else return? Hide behind the druid. <laughs> uh, no, hide behind the druid. <laughs> Druid right over here, she walks out in her bluish, or bluish? Her, uh, barky form, shall we say. And as she does, well, what does this spell do? I don't know, so she will 
Ooh, that's a toppy. Is she Wu Shalili? Ooh. Uh, let's see, quarter staff, you are holding imbued nature's power for the duration, you call it spellcast ability, strength. Did I bonus action die? Uh, so she will. Yeah, you can attack with wisdom. No. She can attack with wisdom, either so she hits and then does 1d8 plus 2. Eight hours, pretend I know that one. Shillelagh does its own separate damage, doesn't it? I, yeah, no. the damage becomes 1d8 instead. Uh, oh. So, plus wisdom? Or no? I believe so. The only the only other druid who could tell me also doesn't have Shillelagh, so it's like, ugh. Uh, so, say, three What's, damage total. What's the question you're asking him for Shillelagh? And Leslie. Leslie will walk forward. Yeah, it's spellcasting instead of strength, and the weapon damage becomes a D8. The weapon is also becomes magical if it isn't already. Oh, collision. Well, move there. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so, we will use Hunter's Mark. Oh. On the evil fucker. Alright, so Blair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 24 and then we'll four. shoot our bow. Yep. Plus D6, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7 total damage as you flying off. It's in there good. It's in there hard. And uh, I will just. Can I. Yeah, you go get in the trees. In there. Cheers, thank you. Uh, that's it. Oh, sorry. That's uh, right. Can, was, can was... Sammy move over to me? There you go. Thank you. Oh, wait, that's what I wanted to do. Yes, F5. The Razor Vein Blight will once more. Uh, I believe this is the one that hasn't done it. It hasn't, but it said it has. I picked up the wrong one. So don't mind me as I try to recharge something I use on another creature. And he will make his bash once more as he slams down. Uh, deck saves uh, Haku, Blair, and Druid. Why on it? I'm sorry, Les. Oh, I was going to say, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, attributes, <laughs> deck save. 13. So, uh, Uno, Dos, both of you pass. The druid fails. The druid then has to make a fucking con save. She passes. And let's see here. Uh, so. And the blight regains 9 hit points. Haku! Mm. How much damage do I take? Uh, you. Diving. Favor suck or? You took six damage. What type is it again? T slashing. Okay, thank you. Twenty-one four six will hit as you stab on in, and you. Plus divine smite. Plus five, five, six. So six, seven. Eleven, 11. plus six, seventeen. No, it's. Oh, you've actually changed this to work right? How beautiful of you. Uh, yeah, that's 17. Do anything else your turn? Bonus action, what can I do? Uh, that's my turn. Okay. Then, I move over to Ren Free and she will Ray of Frost. Bruh, I can't even make this shit up. I no, add seven. No. Fourteen for one. Uh -huh. Creature is one hit buddy. point left. Ah! Perfect. <laughs> Perfect! Wait, no, she chooses to hit Morgax instead. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? you no. I like my movement simp. speed. Ew. Did you remove the six from my sheet already? 
Uh, I removed three from you, yeah. Alright. The creature outright dies in front of y'all. As it does, you watch as it wraps itself up with this tight before just and dropping down. I'm gonna pop this on the uh, on the semi. Identify yourself to the druid. Yeah, who are you? Weren't you a bird just like five seconds ago? Yes, I've been many a things many of times. What You're... are you doing in a morgue? I was traveling. And I came across here, seeing what was going on. So I'll use. Got curious. Your friend got a bit too curious. I do apologize, dear. But we are. I was just traveling and saw it. And she asked questions, and. Well, who was I to not tell the truth? Does she seem to be hiding anything? Like. Well, an insight check and find the fuck out. Yeah. Leaving anything out, yeah. Nice. This is rather earnest. Concerned citizen, if you will. He's just looking around and she's more checking you out. But not in that, like, you know, I could fucking take him, but more than that. Oh, he's okay. <laughs> I, I strike a pose, showing off my stunning calf muscles. <laughs> Scandalous an ankle. <laughs> They'll never have this down at the growth. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's funny, I have a glove on me. I said grove. Uh, I think you said glove. Sorry. Do you uh know anything about the undead in the area? Well we are or in a cemetery. Blight? Yes. So I imagine the undead are all over the place. Answer. What about the blind? Do you know anything about it? I've heard some things, but it's mainly just been progressing. I've not really seen much. I know that a few druids went to Oakhurst to try and figure it out, and well, they were killed. But other than that, it's not much I know. Not really my place to try and figure these ones out anyway. Why are you here? We're investigating the recent rash of Kalinx. Hmm. And how's that going? Uh... Well, we just arrived. They seem to be dumping bodies here. I think I uh, found a clue. Already, mm -hmm. but uh, information for information. No, I've told you everything, I know. Yeah. I don't think maybe you have. Well, Simply so... because of... Uh... You know, you're a druid, aren't you? It's just supposed to, like, want to stop the blight? Unless you're one of those, you know. I have all intention of stopping the blight. However, I can't really stop the blight from a cemetery. I mean... Did you know that? Well, why are you in the cemetery? Sorry. I was passing by, saw you, came down, got intrigued, your friend... Then cast a spell to speak with the animals, and I had to play the part. And then it just so happened your friend managed to spook a blight, and we ended up here. You know, at least you're not here worshipping an evil tree or something. What? Oh, you see, we met some other druids. 
They were worshipping a weird, evil tree. Oh, what was that? I'm not telling you that. <laughs> oh, if there's druids worshipping an evil tree, that should be taken into... Uh, no. They died after the tree was destroyed. Just really quickly roll a me check. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying. Mm. You, <laughs> that's why you're here. And that 20. For what? Intelligence ability. Ah. Uh. <laughs> to put two and two together. Mmm, <laughs> 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 these motherfuckers here. <laughs> well, um, it's nice to see you're trying to stop what you started. Unrelated. 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 Unrelated.
I mean, yeah, I could follow. Uh, I wanted to get your thoughts on this, actually, because, you know, you mentioned wanting to stop the plague. Uh, we, we learned that vampires are uh, linked to the plague. Right. Apparently, the, the tree was paid by a, a vampire. A so if you, if you look at this, the, the cause of death is exsanguination, however, uh, through a single needle point in the neck. A thick, a thick one. Yeah. Get sent in looks. That's like someone drained the blood for storage purposes more than anything. Does he mm. look like the groundskeeper? The groundskeeper was a man. This is a woman. It... I haven't looked at the body yet. I'm going to be honest, although it's hard to tell the corpses. They look so pale. I haven't even looked at the corpse. <laughs> you, he's in, uh, He's trying to cover. Why are we desecrating corpses? We're not desecrating the corpses. We're examining right, robbing? Evidence. No, not robbing. Examining oh. evidence. Obviously, this is not the gravekeeper. However, right, the uh, the method of death implies perhaps the grave worker. You said he was young. How young? Uh... It looks round. Thirty. Thirty. Can I make an insight check on that? Yep. Because <clears throat> I feel like, like the way that that was answered is like one vampire to another, like a, to a human being. Like, how old do people like thirty is young, right? Because that doesn't that doesn't seem right. Because thirty is pretty old. There are elves. I'll fucking stab you. <laughs> what? I'm 30 this year. I will fucking stab you. Yeah, you're pretty old. Yeah, but like medieval times though, right? Mm. Well, we had a guy die of old age at 60. So 30 is midlife. You're 30? He's like, you no know, young. Time for your midlife crisis, I guess. <laughs> according to your own game. Young being you 30. born in like the 80s. No, it fucking doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm 24 and I was born in. Oh, never mind. Never mind. There we go. Penny's fucking dropped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were born in the 1900s. I will fucking hurt you. Is she. <laughs> Are you inside, Cherry? Is she? Until she looked round, she was trying to gauge the age of your party members. And couldn't quite find someone that fit the bill. And so I had to conjure up a rough number. It's, it's, not, so, it's, it's not so much that she's lying. You can tell by the way she's been. It's, it's very much a guess. Isn't Haku like 40 and I'm like presenting 20? Ha Haku's mm -hmm. 40. But also like. 46, I think? 41. <laughs> hmm. Also, fucking look at him. What was he like? Would you say he was an old soul? I never interacted with him. I only just saw him on my passing by. Hmm. Not a bit. Well, consider this an exchanging of tales. A thank you. Be careful. From what I hear, people are dying near here, or at least by the roads, but going by air seems to be suiting you well. You would just go to walk on out. It was. Thank you. He's going to watch you. She walks out, you know, gives a little nod, and then just... <laughs> into an evil and just off. Friend. <laughs> Why are you running at so many druids? Yeah. This is your first oh, yeah, she, druid. She was definitely this is my third. Third, third like oh, yeah. evil. Isn't the ram you isn't the ram not a strength check with an additional four? It is. Yeah. That's advantage if there's two people. Yeah, so right. 
Wait, keep that'd rolling. Be, nah, yeah, it'd be the 20, I would say, there. Yeah, I'll roll another one for roll. advantage. That's good, I was, yeah. I, was, I was giving you the nat 20. Alright. As you start to bash down onto this, you give it the... Ooh, Twilight Forest, I bet that sounds nice. That's good enough. Fuck it. As you bash to the door and you hear that... It kind of rattles this huge 20 foot stone door to its core. It does. After a moment you can hear this bell on the outside just ding. Wait, that's... It does, yeah. The door kind of opens. You see this hooded figure kind of head out. Uh, hello. Who are you and what are you doing here? I'm the groundskeeper. Hello. I'm keeping the grounds tidy here in the crypt, making sure that none of these ancient. Burial grounds are disturbed. You had razor bl blights out front. Yeah, and it's, it's been two weeks since there's been any activity here. It's Is been he... two weeks since the razor blight showed up, and there's a 20 foot stone door in front, so therefore hiding behind these was a good idea to get away from the uh, razor blights, as you called them. Hey, um, yes. sorry to interrupt here. I wanted to purchase large amounts of blood. You look like just the guy that would keep blood stored in jars somewhere. He used to. Why? When you drain a body, if you keep the blood in it, then the body bloats, and after bloating, it has a habit of... Yeah, ew, but no, no, I, I get that part, but so like... So I'm going to have to ask you to come back. <laughs> what? I'm just taking a look around. No, no, please come back. I beg you, please come back. I take a look around. Ha so Haku. His face. So I'm asking you know, nicely. I use to make the ground rumble ha beneath ha his feet. Haku. You don't need the spell for that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, There's hurt. something out of character. He's something soft I... about this guy. And I his face. said, "Return!" I need from you, Haku, a wisdom saving throw. And you return, Haku. You're a bit of a bitch. You know it. Man, he just used his we'll weakest take that aura. From him. He, just, he just used the, his weakest You're aura. no groundskeeper. Like, You're human. no groundskeeper. Can I inside him? Were yeah. You inside? We're gonna inside him. I'll even be real nice and give you. I'll give you an arcana check at disadvantage. Um. More sh what the fuck? Wow. I rolled two fours and two seventeens. Command. Yeah, I guess as much. Mm -hmm. I am the groundskeeper, and I just really can't have anybody in here. Why well, is it dark outside? You understand? God knows what could happen with all the deaths going on around here. I mean, that's why we were sent here. Were you to investigate? We're here Everything's... to investigate this place. Yeah. Everything's fine. But... It's fine as well. Nah. I want to insight that. It's I don't fine. Sure. Uh, let's see what he's got here. Ah, nice. I mean, like, he says it's fine. He believes it's fine. But yeah, he he's, he's, having... he's he said it's fine, like it's a black market drug deal. It's like uh. uh -huh. You come. We're coming with us. No, I'm Hold not. on. 
let's uh let's take a look let's at all the. Let's not make any more enemies. We already have enough. Well, hold, Bree, please be quiet. No. <laughs> wow, that's what? kind of. That's like, like really. Son, this is for your own good. And he uh, rubs a hand against you. And as he goes to, you're going to watch as he slips and. Mm, he starts sort of dusting you off. He leans in. Don't speak to women like that. Is that a suggestion? I'll give anybody if they want an arcana check. <laughs> I really like this that? rule. I really like this rule. <laughs> Mulgax, inflict wounds. Oh. Did he hit? No. <laughs> <laughs> he like, oh, rolled a oh, fucking damn. seven. He's like, he, he thinks about it now and he's like, guys, maybe Can I, maybe this guy isn't a spell? vampire or like uh, a blood hey, mage. Like, yeah. I thought this guy looked like a blood mage because of, uh, you know, his shitty I'm outfit. I'm gonna put a hand on... Oh, sorry, I thought you were done. Sorry. No, I thought he was a, you know, a blood mage because of his chitty outfit and with the, the skulls on it, too. I mean, like, I just sort of figured that, you know, he was evil, but he just told me that there's not the women like that. He's a real gentleman. I'm going to put a hand on your shoulder and say, just tried to cast some thick wounds on you. Did not. Is he wearing right, gloves? Then. Is he wearing gloves? Hey. Yeah. No. Are his hands purple? No. Oh. Wait, wouldn't the, wouldn't inflict wounds have like a visual aspect? It would. Is he? Wouldn't we have seen it? You would. I'm let you know the spell though. Uh, is he? Uh, your hands is literally he... glowed. He, here's here's my question. I have a magic touch. Here, here's my question. Is he is he black? What? The fuck? No, 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 it was, it was a bit of a setup. Maybe you should have started with blue. I wanted that Yeah, one. you should have started with blue. Yeah. You should have. No, but I can blue and blue and black. I quite enjoy you just flat out asking if the evil man was black. <laughs> can we, can we get that one out? Yeah, yeah. Can we get, can we get that? Can we, can we cut it? We have a new Patreon exclusive clip. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> Actually, just the cop rocking up. <laughs> the suspect I mean, I'm blood was is just a like, black uh, male. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna go ahead and make no, an attack. Large make man. an attack there, sir. Oh yeah, I could. It's not because he might be black. <laughs> wait, are fought. you wait, wait, wait. fourteen for nine? Will hit as you stab him with your rapier. Oh, yeah. I feel at that and point then we should roll an initiative. An extra one d four. Because my oh, yeah. uh, can I? Can you? Yeah. There we go. No. Whatever you want to do, you Damn. can go. Damn. Damn, that's a lot in that twenties. A seven to me. That's two. No twenties. Stop my nuts, Aaron. Jesus. Blair, you can go before me. I don't like you for saying that for some reason. Who? What the. <laughs> So see, is that I was what? being really nice. I I don't exactly. <laughs> You're you. I'm like a nice person in real there is life. There's no food involved in this. <laughs> I don't know. I guess, considering what you did to that goblin. <laughs> Man watches you know, one documentary and all of a sudden he's the bad guy. No one just watches one documentary about World War II. It's a fucking. I, I watched a little documentary, Batman. <laughs> it was Eddie. No, the thing is, gonna, we watch I'm documentaries to learn. He watches it for character inspiration. <laughs> okay? There's a big difference. I, I, I read just a book, man. It was. Wait a, until was really I get my Smith yeah. tools and craft a brazen bull. It was all about a man struggles. I can really relate to that, Batman. What's next? You're gonna make gonna, a death by chamber? I'm gonna tell everyone. We need him alive, guys. Don't kill him. 
you know, cast command. I am Grovel. actually and somewhat of an expert in medieval torture devices. I'm somewhat of a the expert myself. <laughs> I'm somewhat concerned. <laughs> he he passes. Like, call experts Believe it or not, I also, I also have access to a chemical that's, that can make weapons through my job. Uh, hey, then, let's... hey maybe you stop joking um... about being a Nazi then. <laughs> okay, then. 15 for 4. Non lethal. Hit. Yep. Non lethal, please. Bludgeoning 15 for 4. Um, and then I'm going to. Skip it up. Let me just cruising on down Main Street. We're relaxing, feeling good. I'm using friend free as a meet me shield. Free. I'm gonna step forward. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm gonna cast Thorn Whip. Uh -huh. Blair, what's your AC? Uh, lower than twenty-one. Uh, well, yeah, I hit you. Well, Blair, oh, yeah. you lose five hit points. Are you pulling him back, or Wait, are you... what the fuck is he called, Cult Fanatic? I didn't change his name in time. <laughs> Sorry, what's his name meant to be? It's just a stat block. <laughs> uh, to me, he's the, 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 the keeper. I'm gonna pull Blair out and tell him to leave that man alone. So you're gonna pull him ten foot? Yep. Uh, Blair, did you knock the five off, or did he get it? Not, not yet, I was about to. Go on, you go then. <gasps> really, so you're gonna... Pull him out like I'm gonna leave. Did I not answer your turn? Did I not answer your turn? Uh, I'm gonna pull back, walk back ten feet. I'm basically just grabbing Blair and just dragging him out. Leslie, <laughs> Blair, would you like to go first? Yes or no? Uh, no, you can go. Okay. Um, am I under half cover here? Uh, no. You're just under a tree. Oh. I know half no, I mean, is fat, I... but like... So I'm not shooting through half cover? No. Oh, great. Okay. Fantastic. I don't count people uh... as cover. Oh, fantastic. What a great rule. You're not those really? Uh... <laughs> 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 so, did well, you? Okay. I'm gonna ask you a question. Uh, yeah, cool. And they didn't consume the spell slot. Yeah, you just moved it over. Cool, cool. Yeah. You move it over, you take a 12, a 12 will miss. Move straight over a Blair as you fire through. He's gonna move back. Uh, Don't worry, so uh, let me. It's because I had to move you for the pool. There you go, mate. Uh, he's gonna move back. You know, tag for opportunity if the guy wants it. And. 15. 15. Actually, sorry, yeah, 15 hits. 15 for 5. 5. Okay. And then. A 5, or a t does a 10 hit Bree? We're not doing this. No. Well, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, listen, I was attacked first. Like a five HP is like most of my health. Well, not most of it, but it's like oh, a good portion of my health. A ten. It's like one fifth of my health. A ten will miss. A ten will miss. All right, that'll what be my turn. What the fuck is going on? We're not doing this. Fucking Ronan Maparel already had his character fucking yeeted in the middle of the fucking astral plane for this. It was horrible. Speaking of things that were horrible, he will bonus action do a little thing and he'll be like, you know, Umo Gui Gui Fai Gui Shuao. And he will. Well, he's already got a target. So he goes and moves his hands, he does, you watch his. His spiritual mace just seems to start swinging from nowhere and. Blair! You take two damage as you are hit with uh, 20 with a spiritual weapon. You take two, then he'll take his little dagger, and as he does, he will look at Haku and make two quick stabs in Haku's direction. A 15 will miss, and a nat 20 for 
Ah. Four. He rolled two ones on his dice. Fucking D4s. Ah. Pussy. You want me to take that off for you then, my guy? Yeah, please. Get in the bar. Sir? Man, this cult is kind of mid. <laughs> Renfrey will be like, oh my god. How dare we? <laughs> Till the dead. Guy will make a wisdom saving throw. He will fail that and she'll be like, uh. Oh, spells are important. Haku! Man stands there looking in your face. Look behind him. Give it around. And. Booming bleed again. 19 for 4 hits. 19 for 4. Plus Divine Smite. For 8. 12 total damage. You come and in. That's my turn. He's no looking bueno. Mogax. Something, 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 please hit. Uh, no. I don't feel like hitting. <laughs> you feel like hitting women, it seems like. Don't kill him. Said the man that could have killed him with a divine smite. A 14 hit. I'm just... Stop He's gonna eat. There. I hit twice. <laughs> Non-lethally. As you give him the old one-two. And he goes sparkle. Nice. He has less than six health left, so if I took that off, he'd instantly die. So. Mm -hmm. the uh, I have to get going. I have, I have to make a grocery run. Yeah, no more. Uh, I'll see you later, guys. Yeah, no more. Bye for now. Yeah. Probably wrap. Gonna tie him up. I'll describe the room. I withdraw a ration. God. As you look around this particular room now, Haku, you do see that there are numerous coffins. Yes, sarcophagi, regal as well. You also see a altar with two lit candelabras. The statue of a hand. The hand. Holding an eyeball. Yeah, the lesbian simple. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. <laughs> You're all escaping that, by the way. <laughs> I'll never be able to escape that one. It's the lesbian cult. It's no longer the cult That's of Vecna. Yeah. It's no longer the cult of Vecna, it's the cult of Lesbos. <laughs> South Park joke. Check the room. Check the room, guys. It's This is the guy, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Strip him of any valuables. Uh, a dagger. The caster doesn't have a... spell components. Arcane focus. Mm. Then make sure he's tied up well. Gag him. Gag him as well. Yep. Can I kinky in here? Thank him. <laughs> <laughs> put him, put him on the side, and put let the, the team do the their investigation. <laughs> <laughs> and your what? Your what? Sorry. I'll sit on him, and let the party do its thing. God, that's a fucking murder attempt, honestly. Roll medicine check for me, just for my own safety. <laughs> medicine. He'll be out for a good four hours. All right, all right, all right. Net twenty, nice. Yeah, it's a lot of net twenty tonight. It's... it's been a fucking session for it. Like I lay a ration on his lap. <laughs> Why are you feeding <laughs> dead people? He's not dead. He's just sleeping. It's not Why dead. are you so obsessed with making people eat? Hey, do you want to laugh? Just out of curiosity. Just a quick giggle. I own a mirror, sure. Guess who has the most nat 20s? It's me. No, it's, it's Haku. Mog Mogax? Yeah. Oh. No, uh, Mogax does, however, have the most natural ones. 
<laughs> oh, it's not me for once. In the uh, Avernus game, I'm currently, I have three net 20s and 13 net 1s. Corby's equal, which I is am... just crazy. Yeah, there's like, most of the people are equal, I'm 10 behind. You see a huge set of marble stairs that seem to lead down into another room. Uh, another underground burial chamber. Also, you just walk past that, you do see a fountain where the water has been replaced with blood. I right. taste the blood. Jesus Christ. I mean, aren't you like a hunter for this? Yeah. yeah. Like, this is what hunters do. Give me a medicine check. This is. Oh, this is fucking cracked. Medicine check. I need to see roll, what roll kind of blood it is. Roll phrase. It's um that, that that's a pretty good roll. It's quite old. And quite new. It's very much old. A mixture of blood. Um Do I recognise the taste? Are you a vampire? Do I get any like odes? <laughs> I mean I've tasted plenty of blood in my time. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna escape this. Like uh, this is uh, how I identify things. <laughs> like oh, I've got like over a year of this. Oh. <laughs> See, uh, see, I know. Um... I'm so excited for our time together. <laughs> uh, That'll be so hot. You've done a, you've done, a, you've also done stone cut, stone cutting here. Um, your choice, what you'd rather make on that? Oh. Uh, oh shit! Yeah, would I rather medicine or stone cutting? No, I'm giving you both. Oh, sorry. So, what's my choice? Uh, in history. Oh, no, it's, it's just, just history. history. Yeah, it's you the fact that it does all that shit. Yeah. yeah, so you can roll a history with advantage. Uh, so it's... Alt. No, it's expertise. Oh, yeah, so you're... Roll me flat history. 18, so 20. plus another two. 20. Uh, it's... This place was built quite some time ago. By... I get a feeling that it was definitely human built. But it was expanded upon by other races to fit their burial rates as well. You can tell that some of the carvings in the wall are humans, some dwarvish, some elvish. But, you know, not many elves would be buried here. It's... Because there's a lot of elves that die. They would also die in like, their own elfy places. I imagine, but half elves, different story. Mm -hmm. It's and yep. Sorry, continue. It's giving you at least two hundred years easily. Okay. And what race is the suspected black cultist? He's not black. <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> not black. Uh, oh, uh, sorry. He's black My and bad. blue. He's, he's, he's a lesbian. Oh, he's black and blue. <laughs> he's a black and blue lesbian. Oh, okay. <laughs> is that the color oh, of the people, What race is this LGBT black and blue being, lesbian? Uh, oppressed again. He is a human. Okay. Can I take this Let's time to the... take away the symbol? The lesbian symbol. You can take a little ball out of it, but the hand is... It's on there quite good, I should say. I would have figured out by now that he was not the, uh, the, 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 the warden of this place. Right? I'll be honest, I feel that was pretty obvious. Oh, no, my, <laughs> character, like, <laughs> my character would have figured it out. Because they were like, no, this guy is telling the truth. <laughs> He seems like a stand-up guy that just wants to keep his peace. Yeah. Uh, hello, father. <laughs> hey, you racist now, father. Oh, you don't have father's oh, head. Respect the ball. Ball. Fuck the Greeks. <laughs> what is this ball? Uh, is it an eyeball? It is, yes. Eye of Vecna? It's a ball. Made of stone. Glass. Is it a ball, is it a ball of nerds? Or a real eyeball. It's kind of spongy. Oh, yuck. So it's a real eyeball? No. Oh. 
Oh. Just uh. Oh, it's like a stress ball. Oh fuck. Taste it. Find out. I'll put it in the party loot for now. It's, I will say it's spongy and gelatinous, but it's not an eyeball. Okay. Did I be able to like roll nature or medicine to figure out what they is? Is it like a body part? Give me Arcana. I'll give it to Bree. Oh, Arcana works. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, it it's phantom. Can I help her? Phantom worked into my uh. Anyway. 14 is good enough, in my opinion. 14 is good enough, in my opinion, here. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, Leslie was right. Get of nourishment. Oh. Yes! But what is it? <laughs> A beak of nourishment. You consume it and what it provides it one day's worth of ration and food. It's essentially, it food. It's essentially a good berry. But oh, it doesn't do healing. To, uh, I tossed to Leslie. Because oh, that I seems like it. something you would enjoy. Catch it and give it, give a little lick. It's flavorless. Okay, so the lesbian symbol has a bead oh. of nourishment. Damn, I guess they do really like eating out, huh? Jesus fucking Christ, what have I done? Uh, <laughs> I, I have always suspected that the thing in the hands was the clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> Since it is the lesbian flag with two fingers. <laughs> uh, so you're um, licking the clit, huh? Uh, any of the sarcophagus have been tampered with? None. Does it seem like it? they're all good? It's oh. been tampered. <laughs> Quickly change the topic. They're all good. <laughs> the rule of thaumaturgy: coffins have doors. I ruled it that way as well, so don't worry. It was all big group yeah. effort. These are all. Well, see, they are all pristine, they're not broken in that, but also there has been care taken to them. Like, there's like dust around places and cobwebs, but not on these. These are very much cleaned and taken care of. Special coffin up. Hmm? Up here, guys. There's some other thing. I think oh. that might be interesting to explore next week. You're being methodical yeah. about this. It is. Oh, I was going to thaumaturgy every coffin. Oh no. <laughs> one by one. Okay, as you go down the stairs, you see more coffins, more braziers, and two doors. One to the left, one to the right. And as Bree said, this would be a good place to pick it up next week. Hee <laughs> hee. So I have editing to do. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of, a lot of <laughs> censoring. Oh yeah. <laughs>